Jordan's subjective. Jordan's subjective. Jordan's subjective perspective. <laughs> Jordan, this is your first podcast, like in an establishment. Yeah, I'm just happy all these people came out tonight to see us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got quite the crowd out here tonight. Uh, none of them are very attentive from the looks of it. Lucy's but. about to interrupt the podcast. I'm freaking out. <laughs> so rude. And welcoming our server, Lucy Cassiopo. Give her a hand, everyone. Oh, Lucy. Hey, yeah. Lucy. Yeah. All right, all right. But it was Cappuccino. Was that lied to you? Free beer? <laughs> Is your last name Cappuccino? <laughs> oh, nice. Mudhouse. I, I don't know what that means. Name? Her last name is not Cappuccino, you idiot. <laughs> you guys literally told me that the other night. Kenny. Kenny. I was just getting fucked with Kenny. Yeah. <laughs> Whose last name is that? I mean, like, I, I think. Mean, I, it's spelled like it, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's on her Instagram too, but it's like, it's Cassio, but it's just like similar, so she just ran with it, maybe? I don't know. It's, yeah. Just keep going. I thought keep it was going. like tapioca pudding, but with a C. <laughs> I think it is that. Tapi- capioca? Pa- that's capioca? A, that's What's a good t- way to remember it. Is that right? It's that's not right. tapioca pudding. No. What is that? Tapioca pudding? <laughs> I just got looked at like I'm extremely uncultured. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the pudding with the rice in it, almost. I don't know if it's actually rice, uh, but it, it rice the texture pudding? is like rice. Do you know what I'm talking about? It's one of those things, if you've had it, you would know. I would assume. Maybe I thought, I don't Is know. that a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> I, I, Do you like impartial? Tapioca impartial. Yeah. yeah, it's good. Yeah. The texture adds a little bit. The first time you taste it, though, you're kind of like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Are we supposed to drink these like a shot? Like you're supposed to chug them? What's the no, etiquette? It's a, it's a sample. It's, it's a, a sample? sample? Yeah. Do we so chug samples? I'm confused yeah, I have before. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what are we now is what I'm asking. At usually family gatherings, and everyone looks at me. It looks like the stuff they drink in prisoners. <laughs> I feel like we should cheers to this. This is a cheers, cheers opportunity. Cheers to 631. 631 hey. is normal. Some memories we that uh, we Smash. will remember and some that we will not. Some memories we will remember. Great taste. <sighs> That's it's dark. Like, it's delicious. It's got a coffee taste. Mm-hmm. A Guinness. See, it tasted so good, I regret chugging it now. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know you chugged it. Yeah, I just threw it back, looked up at the ceiling, and then I looked down, and you guys just all have full glasses. So. <laughs> yeah, well, some they're not than shots. Jordan. <laughs> that is just a hefty shot if that's a shot. That's so yeah, too much. This isn't a college environment here, so oh. like, this is like way too classy for me. I'm, I'm just oh, pounding, pounding yeah. drinks. You are wearing a suit. Yeah, true. But that's <laughs> yeah, it's Jordan, to compensate. Yeah, let's let's address. The elephant in the room. You're wearing, you're wearing a suit tonight. Have you ever? You have worn a suit on a podcast. I have yes. done that. I have yes. done that, and that was because I had a job interview and I had to wear it for my class earlier that day. But the reason I'm wearing a suit is because it started with a foggy Thursday evening, last Thursday, and <laughs> I open up my phone, have the facial recognition going because I'm high tech as shit. Of course. <laughs> and I swipe up because that's all you got to do. You don't have to enter a code. It just notices your face. High tech Mine's again. Right. I open up the Tinder app and I see this message of this individual that I had not really communicated with before. Ask me if I wanted to go to her formal with her. And then I said, yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> formal <laughs> invitation via Tinder message. That's hilarious. Yeah, right? Wow. Complete stranger. I, mean, I feel no. like it's a pretty common bio. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I need a formal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. For no sure. build up to it though. Yeah. No build up to it like at all. Like we didn't have a conversation really before this. Like maybe a message or two. She just asks me out of the blue. I'm like, "Yeah, you're cute. Why not? I'm down." Like and I just told her I'm like, "I'm a fun time. Like I'm not weird." Like, <laughs> Did you sell yourself? I promise I'm not weird. <laughs> and then uh, She's actually she's friends with Maria. Well, and I looked she at her. Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so okay, it would have no, been like no. for the AKO formal. But uh so I looked at her, I'm like, all right, cool. And I, I kind of got a little excited, but I was like, man, this is like a random stranger. Why should I freak out about this? And then, um, yeah, she never responded until today. And she said that she found somebody else from her hometown, a friend from her hometown instead to take. And I'm just I'm just wearing the suit because like, I'm over it. And I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> I, so the it's not that I care. This is a statement <laughs> to his lack I, of fucks given yeah yeah turn <laughs> to this tinder girl <laughs> that invited you to her formal yeah it's just like i don't care like, clearly i don't care and like, i'm over is, it and this is you should you say to the video like you're rejecting her invitation is that 
Yeah, I rejected her. She didn't reject me is what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> you just want to make that known that you came out on top. Exactly. Yeah, maybe you are the alpha root man. Maybe, maybe. maybe. Yeah. And then I'm not what's I'm not upset whatsoever. Like, it, even a little bit. Like, it, it's fine. It's cool, guys. Like, yeah. it's, it's totally cool. Like, I, I, I have made other plans tomorrow night. Like, I'll do cool stuff with my life on a Friday night. Like, I, I can figure out. I have other options. Like, it's fine. Wow. We're very happy for you. <laughs> I feel like our outfits all describe uh, each one of us pretty well. Though. I feel like you should talk <laughs> you more so? to the mic. <laughs> it was an accident. I'm sorry. Is that good? Thanks. What that is better? that? What is this? She said it's an accident. I'm trying it. Looks like a macchiato. I recently learned what those were. Ma- macchiatos? Yeah. I never. I was never, not a big coffee guy. Oh my goodness, the food's here. Ooh. Is that strong? Hey, what is that? It's a butter beer. It's a butter beer? Like from Harry Potter? Like from Harry Potter? Oh my goodness. I just said that. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'll move it this way. I'll give Brett some more table space. I ate before this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm alright. Thank you. Thanks, Liz. Thank you. Sweet. Okay, I'm at this weird ethical dilemma right now. I don't like ketchup. I like mayonnaise on my fries. Apparently, they do that in France too. But like, I'm, we're friends with the servers, so I don't want to like inconvenience her and I. So I'm just gonna put up with ketchup right now. <laughs> you put wow. salt in ketchup, it makes mayonnaise. <laughs> <coughs> is that right? Is that like chemistry equation? Is that right? Yeah, it's a thing. I don't. That's definitely not right. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you're putting a little. I no, I don't know how much salt you're putting in there to try to make whatever mayonnaise. It's not working. These tenders are. Huge. Oh, I see. Cause the that's why mayonnaise is white. Cause there's so much salt in there. Yes. <laughs> okay. Wow. Took me a little follow up though. Is that good? Yeah. And it's really strong too. Go for it. She should have wow. brought four straws and we could have all like <laughs> at the had same a moment. time. I don't think <laughs> that would be really nice. It's really special. The four of us. <laughs> okay, talk a little bit closer. Mainly mainly because like being out there they I kinda readjusted the sound on them. Yeah, I figured. I just don't want to talk in, or eat food into the microphone. I feel like that's not what people are looking for. <laughs> yeah, this podcast medium. might just be Dude, a this bunch is of good. Food. Jordan, try this. It's really strong, too. I don't know it's I'm curious not. what the white it's on the bottom strong. is. It's not. <laughs> Kenny doesn't Salt. know what alcohol tastes like because he's... <laughs> what? That's delightful. What am I? <laughs> what, is, what is the word for that? What is... <laughs> I'm 26... Tomorrow? <laughs> Tomorrow? That's a familiar taste. No. What is that? Today, dude. It's Corey's oh, birthday. If we go out, it's my birthday today. <laughs> if we go out tonight, I'm going to have to like be like acting like it's my birthday. Wait, why? There's no way they turned me down, though. I'll just be like, yeah, let's oh, go. There's no I'm way. 26. It's your birthday. Yeah, it's yeah, my birthday. Happy Fuck birthday, off. bro. Dude, I'm, 20, <laughs> I'm, 20, How's your day, dude, I'm 26 today. Dude, happy it's birthday. It's birthday. Happy Did birthday. You know no, I didn't you. know that. I feel bad he was calling me earlier, too. <laughs> <laughs> so like, hey, Jordan, just wanted to remind you it's the 21st. <laughs> what you up to? <laughs> Can I swing by him? <laughs> I don't know what you guys are talking about. If you're referring to underage drinking, I don't support it. I <laughs> am planning on running for office someday. <laughs> and this tape Ruko leaks. also Jordan, <laughs> edit this part out. Cut it out completely. What is <laughs> candidate, candidate Leifer caught drinking with 20-year-old minor. <laughs> oh, God. It's all downhill from here, man. I'm sorry. Oh. It's been a good run, though. Or was he 26? Like, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> so you're 25 going on Is 26. he Corey Can? <laughs> we may maybe, maybe don't say the complete name. Of the <laughs> 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 seems kind of like a bad idea. The funny part is we all know his middle name because he's a rapper, right? Robert. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't know that. I, I didn't. I have, I have to know that. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to be on the record that Nixon, Missouri, six five eight oh seven. Represent, <laughs> Corey King, out on my butt. <laughs> Yo, can I have like a piece of the breading off your chicken? Yeah, not even the chicken. Kenny somehow knows his like social security number. It's like, <laughs> how do you even know that? He's Read like, off yeah. all his information on air. <laughs> 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 the testimony of Corey Robert Kahn. <laughs> yeah, you're just going for full on 100% identity theft at this point. <laughs> yeah, we're not talking about fake IDs. We're talking about identity theft. Yeah. Yeah. We're talking about fraud. Yeah, exactly. Which technically I commit on a weekly basis. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Hey, by the time this comes that. out, you'll be 21, right? Yeah. I guess so. You gotta hold off till <laughs> May, late May. Blame it. Oh shit! Okay. Yeah. It'll it'll be <laughs> it out before then. Damn. Yeah. Nobody watches this. We're not <laughs> <laughs> it's quality bread, and it's got a little little yeah, kick, little, little, little kick to it. A little something. I don't know if I've ever eaten on a podcast either, but yeah. there's food in front of me, and I'm not not gonna eat it. Yeah, I'm really hungry. I'm trying not to like wolf this down in front of the camera. <laughs> I don't want the people at home to see my eating habits. <laughs> I feel like I am more tentative to scarf it down than I would be for like a first date. Like right now. Well, on a first date, you're required to talk a lot as well, so that makes sense. I know on a first date, you want to eat as fast as possible to show her how cool you are. <laughs> it worked for me almost every time. <laughs> it, my heat, my eating habits are very similar to how I have sex. I, I, <laughs> I force it down my throat and I rush things. I rush to the finish. Good wow. lord. <laughs> oh man. I'd like to put it out there. I'm a very slow eater. <laughs> what does that very, say? I take my time. <laughs> I take my time. <laughs> you're saying you'll, you last a really long time in bed? Is that what you're implying? Sometimes I don't even finish my meal. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, hate I to save break it for it to later. You, put it in the fridge. If you're trying to meet women through podcasting, the <laughs> demographic is almost all white guys. <laughs> so accurate. So yeah, accurate. Yeah, yeah, you're shooting for the wrong crowd here. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that guy. He's just staring at us. Stared at him back. That's what I thought. Walk away. <laughs> <laughs> we, yeah, Dude, we're literally like, it, this is like what it would be to be a caged animal. Yeah, honestly. Because people I, are just like observing us. I mean, if you walk by, you got to like look, like, and you see this, you got to look over and just be like, what the fuck? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. People probably think it's for like some sort of uh, like class. Yeah, like, project. look, he's bringing his kid over. He's going to start tapping on the glass. He's going to start pointing at us. It's like, Dad. Hey, let's all do a fake laugh. They're right eating now. food just fake like laugh, us. Like, <laughs> like, real exaggerated laugh. Everybody's looking. They're all looking. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, they're all looking. They are all looking. (laughs) That's so funny. He literally brought his son over. And then at the same time, that whole group of girls right behind, like that whole table of girls right there, just looks right behind at us. (laughs) Hey, just start tapping on the glass, you fuckers. People are going to start trying to beat us, even though we already have. Do you know the girl in the black hair behind you? Like, you're 3 o'clock? Do you know her? Recognize any of them? Uh, I don't maybe not. Why? Nothing. <laughs> okay. Well. But she knows Grant. <laughs> a lot of people know Grant for no reason. <laughs> for no reason. Maybe it's because there's two Tinder accounts out there. <laughs> <laughs> you ever think of that? They're over there pointing. That's the scumbag. We talked about this on, on the last Tinder. pod, Grant. We Go did. watch. What pod number was that? Referencing One, pod 135. number 135. Shout out pod number 135. Grant's catfish. Check it out. <laughs> Uh, Cross promoting, fuck yeah! <laughs> oh yeah! Cross Jordan's subjective perspective. <laughs> you gotta put that in your intro now. I just said that so confident. This is definitely beer, by the way. <laughs> Certainly isn't cider. I love beer. I thought it was cider, actually. <laughs> it's definitely cider. Are we going to talk about how I got completely screwed out of the top time run in the hoverboard race? <laughs> Let's explain what the hoverboard race is first. So the hoverboard race is a competition of great skill mm-hmm. and balance, of course. Yes. And, Mastery uh, balance. Basically, Lots of maneuvering. If uh, you can draw a giant circle from our living room connecting all three bedrooms through the kitchen back to the living room. And it like it, it'll make a path. Like there's nothing in the way, but just like straight doorways. And so basically, we cleared out all the rooms, opened all the doors, and hoverboarded from a starting point in front of the kitchen, through the living room, through Grant's room, through the hallway, through Brett's room, through Jordan's room, which are oddly connected, <laughs> into the kitchen, <laughs> and back to the end of the kitchen. There's nothing odd about the friendship <laughs> me and Jordan have. It's very wholesome, very organic <laughs> through the wall that you share. Jordan, you up? Yeah. <laughs> are you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> nothing. What are you doing? 
Just chilling. <laughs> Anyone in there with you? <laughs> yeah, why? <laughs> Because I can hear <laughs> everything. <laughs> the walls are incredible. <laughs> oh, sorry, man. No, don't stop. <laughs> Real quick, can I get the enjoy? <laughs> Just slide Do you have any pods? Do you have any pods? Jordan. <laughs> I think I think it's a very good thing that I got the basement though, if I'm being honest. <laughs> they all they all come all the rooms in the house come with their faults for yeah. sure. Yeah. I feel like yours definitely has Grants the Dude no. right no. next to the living room. Questionable at times. Right outside <laughs> the living room. Right next to the front. Just trying room. to watch a little sports center at 10 a.m. And <laughs> All right. Hey, I have been there too. Coming back from class, you know, you pop off the headphones, <laughs> put them right back in. <laughs> <laughs> I practice. Uh, I've been I've been playing the guitar in the mornings oh, during yeah. my free time. I'm trying to learn how to play the guitar, and it gets a little noisy. <laughs> what songs have you been playing? <laughs> uh, I I can't think of any off the top of my head. Wake Just, me up you know, when September ends. Yeah. That one specifically, yes. I've almost mastered that one, but yeah. Uh, that hoverboard race, though, uh, it was not yeah. it was not uh, uh, thrown yeah. in there that we were all drunk as shit before a tailgate doing that. I definitely think that's an element. Yeah. Worth mentioning. Um, some drunker than others, perhaps the people that were timing my run <laughs> when I got screwed by .1 seconds. <laughs> was it really .1? Yeah. Actually? Who's timing? Was the same person timing? All right, so I timed John. It was Ryan. Yeah. However, for my run, or for my run, it was only Ryan timing. For Jonathan's run, or wait, no. For my run, there were two people timing, so it was legit. It was a legit run. For Jonathan's run, however, only one timer. And I'm going to be honest, Ryan started that timer at least .2 seconds late. Oh, you think so? Which, of course, would have made me the hoverboard champion. I feel like we should do it again this Saturday. I think we have to for the last tailgate. I agree. La- yeah. Last tailgate for me and Jordan. I can regain. Are you my tailgating ground. this Saturday? Oh, absolutely. All right. Last Same. tailgate. Yeah, yeah, let's get wait, it. wait. I think we should throw some context into these these competitors and this timer. I don't know if I believe that Jonathan could beat you with his hair. That's a very big See, it, it, it does not get aerodynamic. Caught. No, no, not aerodynamic at all. I shave my legs before every hoverboard race we do. Smart to get the most. John had a fro in the oh, last dude, hoverboard no, yeah, race, and the now it's it's pulled back into braids. So he's more aerodynamic than ever. No oh, shit. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah. You, I also never competed in this. Yeah. Did, did you guys compete? I did. Yeah. I did as well. Uh, I I started I started it off, and uh, I think right out of the bat I was like blown away by like five seconds by someone. And then I tried again, and I ran into the couch about 1.5 seconds into me starting, and I just gave up at that point. Dude, the, the green chair might add an element, too, because we recently moved the furniture of our living room, so that true. could definitely add an element. Very true. It's not going to be the same course, to say the least. No, it might be the same. She finally stopped singing. Uh-huh. God. <laughs> Did you hear her wine house though? It's really good. <laughs> Shout out to Lucy. Wait, who said she was dead? Is that you that said she was dead? She is, right? Amy Winehouse. Yeah, she, she did a lot of crack, right? I isn't I that don't know. isn't that Pusha T's like <laughs> album cover is Amy Winehouse's bathroom? I thought it was Whitney Houston's bathroom. Ah, that's right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, they're the same thing. That's who I was getting it mixed up with. Because I don't think I know who Amy Whitehouse is. Well, She's, I'm talking with like food in my mouth. Those high pitched singers, right? Huh? Aren't they both like very high pitched singers? No, I think Amy Winehouse has like a notoriously low voice. Like she does that one song. Uh, they told me to go to rehab. I oh said yeah, no. though. <laughs> no, no, and no. That song. That song did not age well. <laughs> <laughs> that song did not age well. <laughs> 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 Rest in peace. <laughs> <laughs> R.I.P. This one's for Amy. <laughs> this one's for Amy. <laughs> that is my favorite kind of humor right there. Like something that's witty, quick, d- and just dark. Like real <laughs> dark. Speaking of which. 
Brett, I believe there's a, a certain date that you were wanting to really just bring up and just lay out into the open and just open up the box. I, uh, the box? What's in the box? What's in the fucking box? The box? <laughs> Great movie. Was that, was that Brad Pitt? Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. I can do multiple Brad Pitt's. <laughs> it's the season of Brad. I think what's in the box is... I think everyone should know that reference. Jordan, do you know that reference? Oh, no. God. Is it a movie reference? It is a movie reference. The movie yeah, seven. seven. Yeah. Wait, what, what box are you talking about with Brad, though? Yeah, I'm also... Extremely- Was that Morgan Freeman? Seven? Yeah. Or, or is it Will Smith? No, it's <laughs> Morgan Freeman. <laughs> Will, Smith. Will Smith would have been, yeah, younger. Yeah, it's Morgan Freeman. It's Morgan Freeman, Brad Pitt, and the, the guy that likes to touch kids. What's his name again? Kevin Spacey. Kevin Spacey. <laughs> Spacey. He touches kids? I don't know if he touches them, but he looks at them. So. He, okay. He had... Yeah, he, he was Wait, what, what, like what was it? What was he... What was it again? Huh? Like, what was he... Charged? I don't... I don't... Just he being a... got accused creep. of... Like, being sexually inappropriate with teenagers, so... Nice. Yeah. He doesn't have a career anymore, which is great, you know? Probably He's the guy who can, like, know one person through one person. Like, like within seven people, everybody knows Kevin Spacey or something like that. I think that's Kevin Bacon. <laughs> Kevin Bacon. Yeah, that's Wait, who it is. What, yeah. what does Kevin Bacon do? Is he a superhuman? There's some kind of internet game called, like, six, The Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon. <laughs> and Why? apparently you can name, like, any actor and, like, trace them through movies and, like, like linking actor to actor, like this guy was in this movie with him, and like eventually it all went back to Kevin, Kevin Bacon. Bacon. Yeah, I've never played it myself personally. But what? <laughs> that's that's amazing. That's all, yeah, it's pretty cool. But that's a that, lot. No, of that's free great. Time like, who the history, fuck though. is in Sinister that you can trace back to like six people? <laughs> I think there's some oh, kind yeah. of website. I can't do it offhand. I'm not that big of a Kevin Bacon fan, if I'm being honest. I haven't seen a lot of his movies, but yeah. people apparently love him. He was a uh, great in that TV show. Go on. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one. That yeah. one. Uh, I was trying to think of the name, but I couldn't. I don't know. He's, he's a detective, and he's like, I'm getting big. What, is he Field of Dreams? Is he Kevin Bacon Field of Dreams? I haven't seen Field no, of Dreams. No, that's Darth Vader. What's his name? James Earl Jones. James Earl Jones. Wait, wait. James, James Earl, Earl Jones. Jones. James Earl Jones. Wait. Darth Vader is the same guy that's in Field of Dreams? Yeah, the big... the. Big black guy, feel the dreams. If you build it, they will come. <laughs> <laughs> that's Darth Vader. Yeah, yeah, that's Darth Vader. Darth Vader, I thought was white. Darth Vader's the voice. white under the voice of Darth Vader. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh-huh. that guy just kind of walks around in the suit, and then they're like, "All right, James, come in the booth." <laughs> yeah, wonder what that was like recording that. Yeah, like, being Darth like doing like, the scenes. He, is he making the noises too? <laughs> he's like, "Sir, they're attacking the star base," and he's like. Sir, please say something. (laughs) He's just breathing into the mic. Like, it's James Off Day. It's James Off Day. (laughs) Could you imagine coming up with that character? I just, I'd never would in a million years. I'd never be Darth Vader. Darth Darth Vader. Yeah. Yeah, Iconic villain. Mm -hmm. Dude, we've been on a Star Wars binge lately. I love that. We have so much. Now that that Disney Plus has come out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Disney Plus is huge. Yeah. People won't. Shut up. <laughs> but it's uh, it's pretty awesome. It's got way more stuff on it than I thought there was going to be. So I was just excited for like the Star Wars and the Marvel. Mm-hmm. I'd like to circle back to that date you were referencing, Grant, <laughs> just because date. I don't know what you were talking about. Brett, all I know is that you have some questions. You have some questions about certain events that transpired in American history recently. Um, there's already a uh, looming Building conspiracies, seven. I believe. You no. might have no, no, a no. new conspiracy. <laughs> I don't no, know. I'm not, I'm not the conspiracy guy. I don't want to put that image of myself out there. <laughs> it's just a joke for the podcast. <laughs> uh, so you guys know about Flat Earth, right? I am a Flat Earther, actually, though. Really? That's not a conspiracy because it's real. <laughs> how, can you, how can you back that up logically that the Earth is flat? You have to ask. You'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great response. I'm gonna start is. using wow. that anytime somebody asks me a question ever. Yeah, yeah it's if a good way to, to just get out of it. Wait, say it again. <laughs> if you have to ask, you'll you never, never know. know. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah, it really shuts you <laughs> up. The bouncer's I, like, I, I had nothing. The bouncer's like, all right, really, how old are you? I was like, if you have to ask, ask you'll, you'll never know. 
He's like, what? Get Are out. You on something, <laughs> kid? Go home. <laughs> I will say the few times I've used that, people have responded pretty negatively. People don't <laughs> like hearing that. It makes them mad, so do it by all means. Well, it worked here because I, I, I had nothing for you. <laughs> yeah, like I in court, in court, that'd be a good response. Your Honor, if you have to ask, you'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> no further questions. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, this guy's hiding something. Uh, <laughs> Oh, that'd be so funny. Somebody's like testimony up there. They like just start breaking them down with questions. A lawyer or something. They just start. They just keep hitting them with that. <laughs> yeah, Jordan, we were saying you looked like you were going to a court date for possible mustache <laughs> crimes. <laughs> <laughs> mustache related crimes. Yes. Uh, All right. So what? What? What kind of people usually have a mustache? What are the stereotypes? Oh my god! Dude, nice you, catch. Nice catch. Obviously, you didn't. Clean. Well, you got it. All right, you're putting it in sideways. And then... Weak. Yeah, uh, 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 uh. Your clamp game is weak. <laughs> no, you're cool. It was a fantastic catch. Oh, I was thinking the same. Okay, so what kind of people usually rock the mustache? Police officers? Yeah. <laughs> Professional wrestlers. Really? The village people. <laughs> Play the Pilgrims. The YMCA song. All those dudes, I'm pretty sure, had mustaches. Really? Yeah. Most people in the 80s. Uh, my dad. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. And then the obvious one. So which one. one are you? The obvious one. Pedophiles. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Pedophiles. Yeah. They yeah. are That's known for that. That's a weird thing, yeah. That is a weird thing. They're like, all right, I, I really like looking at children. I guess I'll shave the rest of this off. <laughs> <laughs> it only makes sense. <laughs> yeah, that is a really weird correlation. They'll yeah. never know. It's like, it, you know why? Because what's the most common, you know, kind of going in disguise thing, like hiding in plain sight? People put on a fake mustache. They're just putting on a permanent mustache. And they're like, oh, nobody will see me looking at kids. I'll just put on some sunglasses and a mustache. <laughs> if you're a sex offender, you shouldn't be allowed to buy sunglasses. <laughs> that should be like a rule. You shouldn't be allowed to grow a mustache if you're a sex offender. <laughs> How will we know who's the sex offender, though? Then? You're right. It should be mandatory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sir, if you're going to put those sunglasses on, you're going to have to shave that mustache. <laughs> <laughs> the two cannot be together because then you will be a guarantee. <laughs> Do you want to be a Child registered sex offender? <laughs> Dude, um, I was looking up the other day, not for any particular reason, but um, if you pee like on the side of your house and get caught, I believe it was like in a little bit less than half of the states – you have to register as a sex offender. Bullshit. That's so stupid. I think it's Isn't that just ridiculous? if you're in a school zone. I No, like, I mean, you can't just, like, personal pee experience. in public. Yeah, that's the thing is they don't want you peeing in public. I know, but I'll be like, dude, this is my house. Like, fuck off. <laughs> I peed on the side of my high school multiple times. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've definitely peed on the side of Liberty. Taking a piss on Timberland. Oh, yeah, for sure. Is Outside. It, I, okay, so the, you know the. Spite. No, it, it wasn't angry. Like <laughs> I just whipped it out. You, you know, like where the baseball field is, baseball field and the football field right there, yeah. and those outdoor bathrooms. Yeah, yeah. I went right out there. It was locked in the summertime. I was like, okay, well, like I'm gonna piss. What I, what am I supposed to do? And they're You're the, just you know what? Fuck Timberland while I'm at it. Let's exactly. Just be right on the building. And I'm exposed to the entire massive parking lot. So you're like you're pushing with as much force as you can to. You know, reduce the amount of time that your penis is out exposed. <laughs> Lucy walks in here, his penis is out exposed. <laughs> <laughs> Lucy, what's like the cheapest good thing I can get on here? Oh, I just ate before the Dude, podcast. Is the is the Buffalo Mac? Is that the classic Mac with the adding buffalo chicken? And I can get a side of it for eight dollars. Yeah, or you can get. It's like six Fisher, like should Bruco be like comping you for this for promoting Bruco? Wait, come their logo is Asia? right there, yeah. even if it is backwards. <laughs> what? Come to CBS. <laughs> now this is what podcast listeners really want. They like to hear people read off menus. This is ideal podcast listening. Can I do that? Great content. Dude, yeah. Oh yeah, so. Kenny. Yeah, I was gonna give some to Natalie because I'm a good person. 
Okay, on that topic, I didn't know you had a fucking girlfriend until like three days ago. Nobody tells me until like two days ago. And then I asked these two, and they're like, yeah, Kenny's got a girlfriend. I just felt I just felt like so disconnected, like so in the dark, man. Yeah. I don't know. When I like, when I like said I was going to ask her out, like everybody was there except you, literally. So I don't know. Maybe just because like I felt like I had told everybody just because so many people were there. I just forgot to well, tell you. Well, the problem at hand is that I feel excluded, but now I feel even more excluded. <laughs> <laughs> because everybody was literally there except you. Yeah, like everybody was there except you. I'm sorry. I'll tell you the next time I ask her out. Uh, Do what? My 11 type of girls, they're judging me as soon as they know. Oh, really? Really? I don't know. Is there a good judgment? Okay. What do you mean good judgment? Yeah, what is a good judgment? It's what you're doing, and they're kind of like profiling you. Profiling? They do profile you in your suit. What do they think? What do they think? Do they like the suit or the mustache more? There's a table full of girls that are out of sight of the video and just roasting Jordan right now. What do they think of Grant's button up? You said they called me out on the suit? What is... Yes, yeah, so they like, like my shirt. that guy in a suit? Is this like a really intense interview? <laughs> That's what I said. I said this was like a job interview with you wearing that suit. Why would you be wearing headphones with a job interview? I don't... All right. I didn't know if he was bringing the headphones. You so. should come up with a crazy backstory for this. Yeah. All right. You got to hit her. You got to... Okay. Right, are you having a beer? Uh... Hey, these drinks were delightful, by the way. Whatever yeah. these, this, this, and this. Yes. Yeah, that was really good. Amazing. Shout and out to that thing. I like that thing. Yeah. I'm gonna have another sip of this, actually. Oh, I love that the music's off now. This is kind of what I was hoping for, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. The music was kind of annoying, and not good at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honestly. So Kenny's got a girlfriend now. Yeah. How long did you not know? For like, I think it was about two days. I mean, we've been dating for a week. It's not like, but I was still, still it's included. Not like you're like in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Jordan's in his room. Can't just banging on the door. Jordan, Jordan, I did it. I <laughs> asked her. And then you guys just hug, and it just gets really weird. <laughs> Is that what you were wanting, Jordan? Yes. <laughs> Why were you gonna say something, Brett? I was gonna say, don't be hugging Jordan. Uh, he's my roommate. <laughs> wall. Right. He's my it's, wall mate. It's three knocks on the door for a hug. Just <laughs> <laughs> like a little code you guys have developed. That's funny because I was gonna say whatever. I was gonna like go off of what you were saying, and and whenever Kenny knocks on the door, he'd be like, "Hey, Jordan, I finally did it. <laughs> I'm so proud of you." I just I cracked the door in the slightest bit. Hey, George Jordan. Jordan. <laughs> Jordan, <laughs> I did it. I did it. <laughs> oh my God. Like, how do you express a silent whisper? Just like, I did it. I really did it. Yeah, Jordan. <laughs> Jordan. Uh, it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> no, it really wasn't. We basically did. Oh, man. So do you guys have any other crazy wall sharing stories? Like, I don't know if you guys have let us fully in. We are your roommates, so honestly, I don't know about you, Kenny. I feel excluded. Um, I mean, I'm in the basement. My roommates are (laughs) bugs. This is one thing I've noticed is that sometimes I'll hear you just because the walls are so thin. This is nothing, no kind of personal (laughs) thing. It's like it's the wall. What's he doing in there? I never know what he's doing. (laughs) Guys, I have the door cracked. Come on. But sometimes I'll hear you tell a story to them, and then I'll walk out of my room, and then you tell the story to me. (laughs) (laughs) And it's it's really a bizarre experience, because I don't want to give off the vibe that I'm eavesdropping, (laughs) but at the same time, I know exactly where the story's going. (laughs) And then you hear it when he's, like, on the phone with someone again, like, through the wall. (laughs) He's telling it to someone else, and you hear it again. I know a lot of very specific details about Jordan's life <laughs> <laughs> because I've heard them three times. <laughs> oh, man. That's so funny. I couldn't forget them if I wanted to. Yeah. I think the funniest part is that you, uh, is that you guys, like, share a door, too. Not, yeah. not share a door. Like, you each have a door, but then there's a door that connects you. <laughs> and I think that's just hilarious. Like, but didn't you have to, like, th- bring a girl through, like, she was sick, and you had to bring her <laughs> through his door because there's a quicker route to the bathroom? Yeah. Yeah. How, yeah. did, how, did, how did that make you feel, Brent? <laughs> uh, I didn't really know what was happening until I saw Jordan <laughs> storm out of my room that I thought was locked. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know.
know, I can empathize with being sick. We've all been there. But at the same time, I was like, I really prefer this door lock. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. That's what you did. You came in the room and you're like, what can I do to make sure this, this door continues to be locked? <laughs> that was my primary concern and still is. I also honest. came out of my underwear. Yeah, was, that, was that was also, I was like, what is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> Why is he Thank running you. out of my, like sprinting out of my room in his boxers? <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> He's willing to cuddle. Speaking of cuddle, I'm about to miss Buster. Good old Buster. Yeah, right, let's uh, let's lay down who Buster is. Buster's a great dog. Buster is a great dog that all of us. Aren't you guys glad I brought appreciate. him? I knew you guys would like that. I like once I got him down there. Yeah. I knew you guys would appreciate. Yeah. So we weren't we weren't supposed to have a dog in the house, and Kenny's like, "Hey, Grant, I'm thinking about bringing Buster down." I've had the pleasure of meeting Buster. He stayed with us last year at the apartment. Too, true. Yeah. Younger. And yeah, and I was I was all for it. And I'm like, Jordan and Brett are gonna say no because like we could get caught and stuff. But if we don't get caught, I know if we do get caught, I know Kenny will take the fall or whatever, which is cool. Yeah. And Buster would be a great addition to mm-hmm. the household. And, and he, he just lays been. around and he's just so lovable. Yeah, and More. he's just really easy to pass around to. <laughs> and for some reason, <laughs> what? What did you say? Did you say <laughs> pass around? No. He's so easy to pass around. <laughs> what are you talking? That's about? an eighty-pound dog. <laughs> no, he's a what very he's a very heavy around. dog. What? What, what do you mean, mean by pass around? Speak on that. Expand he's, on he's, that. Promiscuous. <laughs> he's promiscuous. He's promiscuous. He's a very promiscuous dog. All right. Are you calling Kenny, I'm dog? sorry. Your dog's a whore. <laughs> you what? slept with all of the roommates. He in has the house. slept with all of the roommates. Every <laughs> single one. What are you talking about? <laughs> you you <laughs> have probably slept with Buster the most out of all of us. Buster's told Brett that he's only slept with him. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Moment of truth. <laughs> Wow, I'm so sorry that you're just now finding out about this and Buster's leaving on Tuesday. He probably was hoping you'd find out after he left. Jordan, I'd like you to cut this part of the podcast. (laughs) (laughs) It's about to get emotional. (laughs) Yeah, whenever I was concerned about, like, drink spilling on all this equipment, I'm more concerned about your your tears. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I cry a lot, so. (laughs) Grant, the lack of eating of those chicken tenders is really bothering me. I literally was, you were trying to order. I'm like, bro, have some chicken. Oh, what the fuck? Yes. Did you not see him pointing? No, I did. What? <laughs> yeah. You can, you can <laughs> have some. It's full fine. hands and I love it. Oh, shit. That wanted some ketchup residue on it. Oh, yeah, no. Go I it. got a crumb in my s- beer. Your soda, you mean? <laughs> my cider. <laughs> Still <laughs> alcohol. I'm 26 today. <laughs> <laughs> it's Corey's birthday. Corey should, we invite him out? should we invite Corey out? I'm down. <laughs> I'm down. Hell yeah. He was calling me earlier. Yeah, probably to like celebrate his birthday with someone. <laughs> and where were you? We should bring his mixtape to the club in honor of it. <laughs> Dude, I I know the uh, oh, what what do you call it? the DJ at Luna, like the main DJ at Luna, like who will most likely be there tonight. Really? I don't know him well. Like I don't even know his name. Should be like, yeah, it's Corey's birthday. Play some C Prophecy. Yes, like if we brought his CD out, like I would totally do it too. That'd be hilarious. What song Does he have any like any? like club tracks? I've only know. listened to like two songs and they're like really slow. Does he Not have bad. club tracks? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is C prophecy we're talking about right now. Don't doubt the versatility. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he says that in one of his songs. <laughs> C prophecy, don't doubt the versatility. Yeah, it's something like that. That's a bar. Can we make this a rap podcast? Can I start spitting bars right now? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say no. Yeah, can you throw down a beat. I don't have any. I was waiting for one of you guys to do it. I don't have anything <laughs> on deck. Oh, dude, I've tried freestyling, and I've never. I don't know if I've ever tried it sober. No, oh, I have tried it enough. sober, and I was bad. And then that I tried it. That tell you something. <laughs> yeah, I tried it a little drunk, and I thought I was great. So, <laughs> deep secret time. I freestyle sometime on long car rides. Really? Not gonna lie. I so long car rides. Believe it. Long yeah, car no, rides. Long alone? car rides alone, or if it's uh, me and my buddy Brandon. Me and my buddy Brandon and Brian, we drove to Kansas City one time, and for like, we were in traffic for about an hour, and me and Brandon were, we were really, we were freestyle. <laughs> <laughs> we were in a good mood to freestyle. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it's, we were, it's just we were, one of those moods. Yeah, yeah. no. And we, free, we were just doing that for like an hour. That's like, I don't know, that's like a thing that me and Brandon, you met Brandon when he was down. That's like uh, the, the Burnett one. Or the, black the shorter one? one? The shorter one. Yes. He's, yeah. he's awesome. I yeah, like no, him. Brandon's he's cool. really cool. Yeah. No, uh, yeah, that's like something me and him always do is freestyle. 
Was there a line that you just threw out? It's like, wow, I got to write that down. Oh, no, I've written down plenty of lines. Yeah. One time, <laughs> <laughs> pulls out his notes. I, I probably do have some of the notes. I'm not going to lie. Oh, my God. What are you saying, bro? <laughs> One time, I found my brother's iPod Touch. I'm really dating myself just even saying the word iPod Touch. <laughs> but... Uh, it was from high school, and he had notes in it from when he used to freestyle. So, like, I would say his rhymes back to him in, like, normal conversation. <laughs> see if he knew it. Never did. Wait, you said, you said your brother used to freestyle? Your like, older he brother. He would dig around when he was in high school. <laughs> okay, I'm following. That's hilarious. <laughs> the thing That's is, they funny. gave us iPads, I think, when he was a senior. So, like, they had GarageBand on them. <laughs> oh, so, like, we're just in there, like, yeah. making shitty beats yeah. on an iPad. Mm-hmm. No, we all did that. Yeah. yeah. I remember when I got my Mac, like, eighth grade and saw GarageBand. I'm like, I, there's more career possibilities than I thought there were. Exactly. <laughs> But yeah, check out my SoundCloud, uh, Brett Leifer. I don't have a band name or anything clever. <laughs> it's Brett Leifer. Yeah. Do you have club music? <laughs> yeah. It's just Brett going, all right. Yeah. We're at about an 8.5 right now. Let's bring Let's it, it up. Let's get it up to a 9. <laughs> what a real note, though. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's on video. <laughs> oh, there he I wonder if you can see him in there. This guy's hey, cheers. Ass. Yeah, cheers. Oh, he's oh, got the whoa. big boy. Oh, he's, yeah. he's showing us <laughs> off. What the heck? Man? Oh, God, come on, uh, man. Well, let's, come let's on. Let's get plastered. We, we got this. We got this. And this. <laughs> this old guy is calling us all a bunch of pussies right now. <laughs> I've had enough crowd participation. This glass is soundproof. <laughs> <laughs> I've had enough crowd participation. <laughs> Dude, can they hear? Like, I don't think they can hear us at all. It's much louder out there. Yeah, it's pretty loud out there. Okay, cool. So we'll go with no. Let's just assume no and say some really ignorant shit. I, yeah. Well, not too ignorant. I am running for office in the future, so. (laughs) What position? We'll We'll just, like, come out swinging, you know, maybe come out with some racial slurs, and you'll be like, I don't condone this. Brett Leifer does not condone this. And it could be like a future campaign segment. <laughs> I, uh, we just start saying the most fucked up shit, and Brett takes his headphones off, stands up, looks at the camera, and goes, I, Brett Leifer, do not condone this. <laughs> Walks out. You guys are laughing now. Once I'm in office, 2032. you guys are fucked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Dude, well, these chickens are fucking Yeah, no, they're really good. Jordan, you're, you're leaving us in a month, man. How does it feel? How does it feel to be leaving college? It's like anticipated nostalgia. What's the best way I can describe it? I do not follow whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Two what you mean. big words that you put right next to each other. Please elaborate. <laughs> anticipated? Yeah. That's anticipated. A big word. Well, anticipated nostalgia. You're the one that wasn't following. He has like a one point three. But no, no. It's uh, like it's it's weird because you're like. Everything I've known for the past five years, something like that, I'm about to leave behind. All the lifestyle, all the people, uh, the classes. By lifestyle, do you mean enjoy ripping? Is that what that's you're a part of it? That's a part of it. Which you're you're leaving past that, here? that, I'm down. Uh, <laughs> that's good. All right, no, cool. I don't vape. Right. <laughs> Sorry, so mom. No. If you're watching, I don't vape. <laughs> and he's running for office. And I am running. For, vote for me, mom. <laughs> <laughs> What a, what but a, no, it's it's weird. It's weird. Just like knowing that your whole life's gonna change. You know, it's like it, any pivotal point in your life. Like the same deal. Whenever you're like, what's college gonna be like? Whenever you graduate from high school, you're like, shit. Like, what's this gonna be like? And you just don't don't know. But overall, I like who I am, and I'm confident. Like that, whatever environment I throw myself into, I will adapt. And I spend. you know, that, that's what you kind of learn. Like like switching around schools a little bit, as I know both of us are. All of us have. All of us, yeah. All yeah. Of us We're all transfer students. All of us have been to at least three oh, colleges. I'm in it, too. Really? You only been two? Did you ever see Momo State? Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Pussy. I've been to like seven. <laughs> I'm embarrassed well, to be sitting on this side of the table. <laughs> <laughs> You've only been to two colleges. I don't know if I'd have would have roomed with you if I had known that. <laughs> Jordan, um, what percentage of like what you learned, or at least like what you were like tested over, you think, throughout college – do you think you will carry with you into like the, like the job world? Oh wow, wow. that I have no idea because I don't know what to anticipate in like the professional world. Like I'm sure like bits of nuggets of like here and there, Joy. like I'll grab, but I would say like you're like I'm thinking of my internship specifically and my 
like what business like stuff I've learned from college that I'm throwing into there and like I don't know I would say not a whole lot honestly like, same but go ahead I don't think Dude, a whole lot I'll I, say this I feel like I haven't learned anything yet like I get like I'm in I'm first semester junior year but I feel like I haven't learned anything experience experience is like yeah I think experience is like literally 90% especially in business in yeah. biz- like business especially that's such a crazy contrast from like currently because I've heard other people say that too like they're like I'm not I don't feel like I'm really learning anything it, dude. but like with finance I'm like I'm gonna have to know these formulas forever part of that's me is fair like enough. it definitely depends on your major yeah. maybe I'll just get the formula for calculating like stock risk tattooed on me <laughs> <laughs> like, like shit what was it again <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> sick then you get computers that can do it for you and you're like oh, why do I have this because yeah. it looks sick of course it's about do you the guys symbolism. do you guys think there should be people working at McDonald's what do you mean what do you mean like do you think it would be a good I, I just McDonald's I respect it, like nothing against he the people the working in McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> nothing wow. against the people working in McDonald's. Like, I respect them for at least like getting out there and like getting a job and at least somewhat like being a contributor to society. But they just fuck my order every time. <laughs> the past three times I've been there, I've asked for an M M&M and M McFlurry, and every damn time it is Oreo. I'm sure. Every time, dude, it's crazy. There's it's crazy. Three times and I'm just in thinking, I'm like, still... a fucking robot could put M and M's in my McFlurry, I, and you don't have to pay the robots. Why doesn't McDonald's just be like, fuck, let's install this robot to put M and M's in this kid's McFlurry? Do you want to just take these McDonald's employees and just like let them out, like in the outskirts of Springfield? What do you I want us to do know, with them, man? <laughs> I'm, okay, I'm just saying from like a business standpoint, I feel like it would be a good investment. Besides, maybe like the cooks or whatever. Yeah, flip. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, maybe like the cooks or whatever. Like, do you do, do I really need someone like taking my order? I mean, you also have to keep in mind there's a lot of like really rural ass cities that don't have a lot of employment opportunities, and like mm. McDonald's is a is a job for people. You know, I get that. I just feel like I don't know, like a big know corporation you... like McDonald's and shit. Oh, maybe they do. Is it an earthquake? <laughs> No. Oh God! <laughs> but no, like I'm not trying. To, like, I'm not trying to like make a stance on anything. I'm just saying, like I feel like that, that was that was funny. That was funny. <laughs> no, no, I think it should be like robots. Yeah. Well, like, is society like overall better off without people working at McDonald's too? Because then that frees them up. But are they gonna have any skills that someone's are actually gonna gotta, be applicable? Someone's gotta do it though. Like, I'm I don't sh- know, like, I, but I don't think someone has to do it. I just think they need. They want someone to do it. What are you just saying? Just go like all I'm just saying, machine like, on it and just. I mean, they already have them at McDonald's. You can like order on machines instead of waiting in the lines. Yeah, for sure. How many people do you think McDonald's alone employs? What will fast food Ooh, chains look like lot. in thirty years? That's true. I'm not that trying to like, be a great question. Be, like, I bet it's a lot of automation. People. I bet it's a lot of automation. That's what I'm saying, though. I just feel like it's going to slowly develop towards that. I bet the technology. I'm just ahead of the wave, man. <laughs> They'll probably expose the market to it slowly, like slowly introduce things, mainly just to not like be like, this is the way it is now, you know, kind of get like all the customers and clientele like more used to it. The younger generations will become more adapt to it early on and they'll slowly just start cutting people off and slowly unemploying people. (laughs) Yeah, I agree. (laughs) Wait, what? I mean, you think about automation like that. How many, like, rural towns are built around truckers stopping off and, like, getting gas or stopping in a motel? Yeah. Automation is either going to make or break the future, you know? Like, we're either going to have people with a lot of free time or Dude, people with no jobs. Hey, hey, fun. hey, we're potting over here. <laughs> hey. D- Hello. Hey, <laughs> respect the artistry, man. <laughs> she started singing again. I don't know, man. <laughs> I feel the, like the audience is like, no, we can fucking hear. <laughs> that's all we've been. That's all we heard. The I feel like at some point in our lifetime that, <laughs> like around, maybe not. I don't know. I'm trying to find a good percentage. Like maybe five to ten percent of the workforce is going to be robots. I could. I don't know. I don't know. Like raw numbers. Would you say all. every single like, there are employee a lot slot of in a McDonald's? In a McDonald's, every single employee slot could be uh, filled in by a machine. Absolutely. Every single one. What kind Absolutely. of you definitely, you definitely like, have to have someone there for like machine maintenance. And right, stuff. right. 
but like yeah, so like in 30 years, is that how it's going to be? You go to McDonald's. Like, why not you go, just have you go into five a... kiosks where five people can go up and order instead of having one person like, oh, yeah, I hate my life, can I take your order? <laughs> <laughs> have you heard them say that to you? <laughs> Under their breath. <laughs> okay, so is that, un- is that unemployment or is that freedom? Because realistically, like those people, they want the money, but nobody wants to work at McDonald's. Yeah. I would Not rather, a I person. would rather I would have people least. kept busy. Even like whatever job it is, I think people need to be kept like busy for sure. Like, That's fair. I don't know what society. I'm would just be saying, like, since like corporations, especially America, they don't give a shit. America. They're gonna do whichever most profitable. Oh, for sure. Yeah, they're not thinking. I just that. think they're not more profitable. Yeah, I'm not saying like I, I like think we should put all these fucking people in McDonald's out of the streets, but I just oh. I could like I just as from a corporation's point of view, I don't see the point. Oh, absolutely. They're looking for dollar signs. They don't give a shit like who's like yeah. I agree. But I, I think, think that's that realistic. Every time there's Oreos in my fucking McFlurry. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be in the future. You'll be like with your kids. You know, like see how that's a robot. That used to be a person, and they would <laughs> fuck up my McFlurry every goddamn time. The robots are like, sir, please calm down. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a weird drive-through experience. <laughs> I feel like that might be how it is one day, though. No, I'm curious too, because like I think I think automation's gonna take over a lot, and realistically, we're gonna have to readjust a lot of our economic systems and I don't know what the future is. Like I don't know what the right plan is. I mean it already is like like a Amazon. Like that's already taken over like a large part. I feel like that's Amazon alone is taking a lot of fucking jobs. I don't know. Probably. Just cause like you can buy so much you can buy anything on there. Uh like what if what if the the amount of jobs offered in the United States is like twelve million. Like, they, we only have 12 million jobs, and you have to be, like, somewhat, like, pretty skilled. Like, pretty skilled to get those jobs. And then we have a population of 350 million. Like, what is the future like, then? Probably not great. They're probably not going to, just historically speaking. Wait, pull that up a little bit closer. Sorry. I don't know. I feel like if there's only a finite amount of jobs, it's not going to be, like, the people with the money want to fun social programs to help the people without jobs, you know? Is it getting better or worse? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see in 30 years. <laughs> I'm trying to hit 2050 Taco Bell, though, see what it's like paying bitcoins and drive a, fl- drive a flying car or something, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Future. Future's now. What if Dude. there aren't, like, fast food chains anymore? Well, you're not, I can't hear you. What if like fast food, like what if like drive-throughs aren't existing? It's just all like through delivery, like all fast food. I wouldn't say no to that. <laughs> That's like some Wally type shit. You guys seen the movie Wally? Yeah. Where yes. it's just the, the big old people in those like floating chairs yeah. going around and shit. And they got everything delivered to them. Seems awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Oh. Lucy with the Buffalo Mac. <laughs> oh, nice. Thank you, Lucy. Nice handoff, Lucy. Lucy, what are your thoughts on automation in the United States and what it means for our economy? I can't hear you either. So, <laughs> <laughs> what are your thoughts on automation in the United States and what it means for our future economy? Universal basic income. What on earth are you guys talking about in this? That's so impressive. I don't know. It started because I was pissed off about my misplaced items in my McFlurry. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny just wants all McDonald's employees to be machines so they stop fucking up his McFlurry. That's pretty, all he wants. Which is fair. Much. That's pretty fair. Yeah. <laughs> no way. They're not going to believe hilarious. that. I don't think. <laughs> what company does that? That's awesome. That'd be awesome. We're from Portland? You want to move to Portland. Well, you said we're from Portland? Portland. Really? Yeah, I know. I just said they want to Portland. Live. That That's just, incredible. Like, that is what? so Isn't funny. That just, like, I didn't think you'd actually come up with the story. That's I know, I know, I know. so funny. Like the Trailblazers and shit. Do what? They play. Guys, no, no. It has just, to be a city. Now we gotta come up with a secret company. It's what not are we, just what are we, trees. Uh, can we, what are we talking about? People here? live. What are we there? selling? What what products or service are we selling? What are they selling? Okay, we are closing at nine, but you guys are staying until ten because you guys staying until eleven thirty. Yes. School with me. Yes. Yes. Wait, what time is it now? 8.30. 8.30? Okay, oh, real cool. quick. What are your thoughts on automation in the United States? <laughs> you didn't answer the question. Uh, Speak into the mic. <laughs> 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 this is a long term. We'll talk about it on the car. Okay, all right. That's fair. 
<laughs> Can I get the Android now that Lucy's gone? Now that, now that mom's gone? I don't endorse vaping. I'm running for office. <laughs> so we, got, we got an hour and a half to pod. Let's get into some weird shit. Yeah? Let's get some let's weird, get weird shit. Let's get really weird. Let's get Thanks, uncomfortable, sir. all right? Yeah, I'm trying to ruin my relationship with my roommates. Who's in? <laughs> <laughs> this guy? <laughs> Dishes right. go. <laughs> yeah, let's let's you know what? Let's do that. Let's air all our roommate beefs on our here. On lost. air, let's yeah. expose them. <laughs> no, no ill will. We're, we're just gonna drink. say them. <laughs> oh, absolutely. We're gonna need another drink. But piss in the toilet and not flushing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why did everybody look at me? <laughs> We've Jordan, Mike's closer to you. <laughs> I've I've spoken about this a little bit, but sometimes. Because my my room, for the viewers that don't know, is right up against the restroom wall. Sometimes Jordan I will Fisher hear, on one side, bathroom on the other. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and you, sometimes you got Jordan, I hear you <laughs> using the restroom, urinating, and p- part of the reason I know it's you is because there's a YouTube lecture going. <laughs> uh, <laughs> mid piss, I'll hear you not flush mid piss. And I won't say anything because I'm a coward and I'm afraid (laughs) of confrontation, (laughs) but it drives me up the wall. And I want you to know this now, but right before you move out. Brett's just beating into his pillow in his room, just (laughs) going nuts. Why doesn't he ever flush? He won't flush the fucking toilet. I'm screaming into my pillow almost nightly. (laughs) All right, and now let's go around and let's do uh, each of the worst things about living with us. Okay. Wait, wait, I need, can I, do I get like a a rebuttal? Can I defend myself? Yeah, defend yourself. Absolutely, absolutely. I don't don't see the defense, but go ahead. (laughs) (laughs) It's just just so, my arms are so tired. The Lord has lifted into the handle. I think what it is, is I'm a, I'm a, a very, as Grant called me, extremely frugal. I don't think he used those words, but we'll go with those words. I'm cost Cheap. efficient. <laughs> I think the words were stingy, but so I'm, I'm a cost efficient guy. I'm thinking about the, the natural resources. I'm thinking about our utility bill. No more flushing. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> if we could just stack some some pisses on top. You know? Sure, sure. I and then let it just all mix together. Let it swirl up as long as no uh, gross, only dude. only flush when girls are over. <laughs> That's it. You know, just let it stack up a little it's bit. Better than pissing in the basement. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I've done oh, that too. Dude, you have no idea how many 5 a.m. pisses I've done into that drain. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny, flashlight, dude. curtain, pants. Fuck going upstairs. I'm tired. Dude, I was just like, I don't want to do right now. I don't want to piss, but I have to. One bathroom on the top floor. Yeah, Yeah, that was a downfall. The odds are if I go up there and somebody's in there, I'm going to be so upset. (laughs) (laughs) That's funny. That's funny. I I did that during a party. During a party. Whenever I... It was like the first time. It was when I... It was the first time time Natalie... Yeah, it was your first party. The first time, like, Natalie and them were over. So I'm like trying not to make you guys out to be that fucking weird. <laughs> and our basement's full. In our basement's yeah. full. And I hear, I'm like, what the fuck is that? And I'm like with like her and her friends. I'm like, what is that? And I like lift the curtain and I see Jordan. I'm like, he's like, oh, hey. I'm like, dude, are you pissing around? I'm like, he's like, yeah. He's like, bathroom's packed. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all right, he's pissing. Man. This is the same drain and that then the canal I remember goes Brett, into. Brett also thing. noticed me. You guys were yeah, both there. You guys some, were both there. Some random person came up to me at the party and said, hey, someone's pissing in your basement. So I walked down there ready to be like, hey, you got to get out of here. And I opened, <laughs> I opened, you know it's roommate. <laughs> I opened the curtain. It's Jordan. I was just like, you got to get out of here. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you ran to a gas station that night. For, for pods. Was like, for pods. You ran to a gas station drunk that might have been, pods. That might have been that night. Hey, you didn't drive, man. That's good. <laughs> yeah, that might have been that night. Good for you. Good for not driving. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I guess since we did Jordan, so you're just, just going to go so pissing next. in places you shouldn't be. <laughs> what I'm, the, I'm the pee guy. And the, I, the was pee very, guy. I was pee very guy. defensive whenever you said that peeing on side of a house is like a big crime. I, I was probably the most defensive to that statement. Yeah. yeah. So okay. it adds up. No, but it's honestly, I think I, I have noticed because you guys called me out in the group chat one time. And I think what it is is I usually have my lecture going or my podcast going. And I'll, like, or I'll be like watching a YouTube video. And I just like go. I piss. 
and I'm like continuing to watch the video and then I just zone out and forget about it. That or I just have very bad hygiene habits. One of the two. Uh, so if I bang on the wall, you won't get mad. I scream and yell. Dude, do you not like flush the fucking toilet. <laughs> you should start doing that. Every I, time you don't hear flush, just... <laughs> I've been like right here where I'm just like about to do it, but I'm like, you know what? It's 1 a.m. I just need to go to sleep and stop being so mad. I just wake up mad. It doesn't work. Hey, the girls are looking. Yeah, Should no, we do another so fake laugh? Yeah. All right. Ready? All right. Oh, let's all throw our heads back. Okay. Ready? Well, hey, wait, I'm going to... Grant, we got a high five on this one, too. Yeah, okay. Grant, I'm going to stand so up and douchey. just start dapping you the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we, we, gotta, can't get, we can't get too excited or they're going to think something. No, we should on. just continue in regular conversation and then just be like someone be like three, two, one, and then we do it randomly. Lucy okay. told people. I mean, it's going to be random meeting. to them no matter what. <laughs> You're right. I don't know how attentively they're looking at us right, right now. That. They're not even looking right they're now. They're the ones staring. We can do what we want. You guys want to, let's all turn back and stare. Are they still staring? <laughs> no. no, they're not. <laughs> but it, it would be funny because two, the two looking back that way were, like two girls literally were like turned around yeah. looking at us. I That's think we all. should just stand up and square up and face them. <laughs> I think, all at the I think same we should time. all turn around and when they look at us, we just look away. <laughs> you guys want to do that? Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but then I'm the one who gets three. Like, pretend yeah, they're not there. After. Are we standing? No. <laughs> <laughs> We're not standing. <laughs> three, two, one. To leave. Oh no, we missed our chance. <laughs> Come on. Still chilling there though. Yeah. Yep. Let's, oh, what's let's our, keep what's going. Our roommate beef. Yeah, no, like I'm these. down. I'm down. All right. Okay. So is it my? Is it me yeah, next? So me. Jordan's the pee guy. What a. I, I already know like what I, mine is. I'm the dishes guy. The I last think, like few weeks, I've been leaving them out, I and think, I'm sorry. I think Kenny, your your uh, your full your full flaw, I guess it would be, was that I haven't seen you around the house much, man. And I miss you. <laughs> You're always over at Natalie's. You don't even stay at the house, dude. Living in the basement with the bugs. <laughs> the, the bugs. I understand because did the bugs. Did a really nice fur blanket? Oh, you did mention that. Yeah. You reached into a shoe and there was a bug in there. Dude, right? I literally put my <laughs> hand on this. The, the craziest insect I've ever seen. Did you look, look up yeah, what are they? What are out. they? Springtail. Springtail spring spring tail. Can that they sting thing, me? No. That thing they have, they use it to jump, not sting. What? Go figure. I'm about to start smacking the shit out of those yeah, things then. No, what? Destroy them. But You're they telling do. me those things can't do that. That thing had like a... Psh, but they do them. cause cancer. Yeah, no. they give you cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been diagnosed with mesothelioma? <laughs> <laughs> Please call this number. It. If you've been diagnosed Wait, so with mesothelioma. I'm just, I'm just the guy. No, so that was it. That was I mean, it's just been like the past one. couple of weeks. Uh, probably uh, when rage Jeez, candy comes dude. out. I'm about to rage right now. If that. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, there is there is rage, Kenny. There Gamer are Kenny. There are multiple hot. forms of that would rage. That would be mine. Though. That would be mine. Is rage, it's, Kenny. It's, does is it, it, is it gamer Kenny or is it faggy Kenny or is it? <laughs> Dude, that's I just the word. I, that's the word gamer Kenny calls everyone this. faggots. <laughs> that's his. His. That's his catchphrase. Nothing against the gays. I don't use that slur. <laughs> the gays are. Dumb. I am running for office. <laughs> <laughs> that's burnt out, by the way. Uh, what yeah. faggot? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, was it? I don't. It's think burnt so. out. No. The pot. Anyways. So what's, gamer what's, Kenny and cowboy Kenny or trying to get anything else? I don't know. You're a pretty good roommate, Kenny. I don't have too many beefs with you. Yeah. You Thank flush you. the toilet. That's really all I require. <laughs> <laughs> Brad just hates Jordan. <laughs> Mostly, yeah. It is Jordan that I hate out of all the roommates. I take it, I think though. you're just really excited for that bonus room. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with that bonus room. So many options. Brothel room. No. Brothel. I don't know what that and is. A second uh, brothel. brothel. No, you that's guys... the waiting room for the brothel downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> it is right outside the basement, so that makes sense. You guys keep suggesting a brothel room without ever saying what it is. You usually just repeat you don't know yourself what a brothel like, is? brothel room. No, I know <laughs> what a brothel is. Game of is. Thrones? <laughs> I've seen Game of Thrones, bro. <laughs> Yeah, you don't look like All a but guy the last seasons. Are you sure? I look. I'm. I'm, I'm a nerd. I look like a guy who throws. Come You're on. right. You do <laughs> look like a guy who throws. I'm surprised you've you thrown a little too hard. What? I'm surprised you don't. Winter break, man. Yeah. That's what you said last winter break. <laughs> <laughs> As he drinks, his fucking winter is coming. All right, um, <laughs> on to Grant. Winter is oh, coming. Is that, that, is that all Kenny gets? Is that he like yeah. yells sometimes? Kenny, you're a pretty good roommate. I'll say that. I mean, I feel like that's it. Yeah. Who's who's next? What do we got? Grant. I. You guys go. Dude, I don't see, like. 
It's like a back. Is that gonna make sense? Back, because you know there's backhanded compliments. It's like a backhanded like knock on Grant. So right. it's actually like it's somewhat of like oh yeah we'll get it, but it's also like dude shut the fuck up. It's like <laughs> what? Just, <laughs> what, Kenny? What is? I think it? we all know what I'm talking about. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Brett knows. So for I those know. of you who haven't seen Fight Club. There's a scene in Fight Club where... Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know if we can be from a grant on blast like this on is this, camera. Yeah, I was about to say, is this podcast? Uh, I don't know. Okay. I don't know what you're about to say, so feel free to say it. <laughs> you got to use the context that's, clues here. Dude, <laughs> so Let's just say it's a volume-related... Yeah, it's... I think I know no, what you're about to say. Related. I think I know what you're about to say. Yeah. I think volume. I know. I mean, him? you've what been... Yeah, I'm about to say he's been a culprit of it, too. Oh, a culprit? <laughs> I share a wall with that. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. Like, what I just text? No, no, we watched that scene of Fight Club the other night. I know exactly what you're After talking about. After I said it? Yeah. You guys watched it? That's hilarious. Well, not. I don't think it was because, but somebody had it turned on or something. And I, but I know exactly. What you, I I only saw like ten minutes of the movie, but I think I know exactly what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. All right, guys, you've been shying away from it. What's mine? I want to hear it from each and every one of you. One specific. That's all. I, can you think of a different one besides what okay. you're going, what um, you were going into? Oh, you leave all the lights on. All of you guys are guilty of that, except for Kenny, I think. I do. I make sure. Because Kenny's I try not here. Dude, every time I go up that basement, I make sure the podcast lights are off. Every That's time one I every time light. I leave. <laughs> Dude, every time I leave the basement, I make sure my lights off. All the lamp, or the above Christmas lights are off, the middle lights off, and the podcast lights are off. Me and Kenny are the only ones out here watching for utilities, and you guys don't Straight appreciate up. that. Well, no, I don't flush. <laughs> <laughs> he is very utilities conscious. All right, Jordan, what's mine? Go. No, hold okay. up. Wait, I didn't like. You guys didn't like. All you right, gotta just say it or give it a. Preferably a different one. Preferably. Preferably. Uh, anytime you use spatulas, cake. you let them cake. You right. let the you let your eggs and spinach and shit cake on the spatulas, and sometimes they're all caked up, and I have to scrape the caking off the spatulas. I don't cake up all of the spatulas. Right, There's well like I, four of them. I don't know. I just every time I'm gonna get this out there. Do it. Every time I use a spatula, I uncake that shit and put it right back in the drawer as soon as I'm done using it because I hate. Cake eggs on my spatula. I didn't realize that was Grant till now, to be honest with you. Yeah, I think you do it too. <laughs> no, no, I clean it off every you single time. You clean it. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, those are the spatula cakers over there. I, I only. That's actually how we separated this podcast. I, I use Red one spatula. Hat. I use my own dishes. And hey, let this be known. This is a complaint generally about all the roommates. I don't know who specifically it was, but I've lost like three or four cups inside <laughs> here. There's a there's an Emmanuel Lutheran cup in the basement them, right now. If any of you see them out there, <laughs> I actually I I will break up leave. cups. I feel like, like parties are part of that problem. Because I, I lost my water bottle. And so I was like taking them out to my car. So I had like two out there for a little bit. And then <laughs> you I were hiding water one bottles in your car so they wouldn't get taken? No, 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 no. Like cups. I, I wasn't hiding I was them. I just like unintentionally was like taking cups out to my car. Do you have so the- I did I did have like four at a time, but I took them all back a while. Like that was a while ago. My cups are gone. I think Kenny has a complaint for you, Jordan. A more specific one. <laughs> Let's hear it. My steak. Oh, rainy explain. tailgate. Your the rainy about. tailgate. Yeah, I like raw meat. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, uh, our good friend Jonathan sends a snap into this group chat that we're in. and This is after tailgate. This we're is all after tailgate. tailgate. Yeah, all plastered. Yeah, all plastered. And in the snap, Jordan has a steak that looks particularly like mind. the steaks that I use. Are you gonna drink in the middle of eventually? eggs and spinach. No, not wine, wine, chill. In the middle of eggs and spinach with the stove off, stirring it all. And apparently he, because the steak was in there at some point. I don't think you knew that. The steak was in there at some point. And no, I, I think that. you were confused why the steak wasn't cooking. So you take the steak out and you start biting chunks and spitting them into the pan. <laughs> I would also like to note that while the stove was not ignited, the gas was in fact on and filling our kitchen with gas. Really if you, me a if scare. you pull the lighter. <laughs> I tried turning it off, but drunk Jordan wanted it on really bad, and he's pretty strong. I don't know if you guys can so see him Jordan, in that suit, but 
Jordan's drunk, making this eggs, like taking Kenny's steak, throwing it on the eggs, trying to make something. And I'm talking to his mother out on the front porch, trying not to get her to come in because you're doing all kinds <laughs> of nonsense. Meanwhile, we're evacuating because everyone in our house smelled gas almost immediately. <laughs> get out, get out. <laughs> Yeah, and then all of Kenny's steaks went back because he opened yeah, up he the opened package. he opened up the package and then threw it back in the fridge. He did Venmo me the $7 for it, which was much appreciated. Yeah, and the, the way I was cutting Wasn't them up. was that steak good, though, dude? It was so good. Yeah, dude, it that's good steak. Delightful Hard. steak. It lasts a while, too. The expiration date on it is weeks away. Yeah, I was, taking, I was taking bites out of the meat and spitting it back in instead of cutting it up. And that's how we handled that. <laughs> yeah. All right, so what's mine not... Yeah, I told you the caking of the spatulas and uh, the loud noises from the rooms. You keep bringing Brit. out a glass with an orange in it from you drinking Blue Moon, and that's not an inconvenience or anything. But I'm more there. just, I'm like, why are you, why, why what? Why get the orange and then pour the Blue Moon into a glass? Is it really worth the effort of washing the glass? I'm genuinely curious. <laughs> My, I... Also, I got a bag of oranges. I brought a bag of oranges down from my mom's house. I'm not going to not use them with the Blue Moon. Why do you like Blue Moon? It's pretty gross. Blue I mean, Kenny agrees. so gross, dude. Jordan, do you like Blue Moon? so gross. Yeah, I like yeah, Blue Moon. Yeah, I like Blue Moon. I hate it's weed. It's actually one I of my favorite beers. beers. I like, I like wheat ale beers. Yeah, I don't like wheat based beers. All right. I, I've been thinking over here. I, don't think, I can't think of anything for Brett. Thanks, uh, Kenny. See, yeah, Brett I can't think be... of anything for any of you three, to be honest. I have <laughs> such low standards for roommates after Keenan, so like, <laughs> I, I pretty much like yeah. think you guys are angels, Wait, all three of you. Trud didn't, didn't set the standards high for you? No, he'd just come home and yell, <laughs> and I, I enjoyed really it, that. though. No, Jordan, you do do that sometimes. Oh, I got You're that from Trud. I swear to God, I never did that until I lived with Trud. <laughs> there have been times that... I'm just in my room, and you think no one's here, and you come in just screaming some crazy like shit. <laughs> I'm pretty decent at coming up with, like, the most random thing on the top of my head and just yelling it and, like, remixing songs and making them, like, oddly sexual. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I know. I've heard. I've <laughs> my heard my favorite song. thing was uh, the hobbies. Rick Ross. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what is oh. 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 <laughs> Jordan just in the bathroom just going, oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Brad's yeah. like, I bet he's listening to Rick Ross. <laughs> hey Jordan, what are you listening to? A little Rick Ross and Meek Mill song. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so do I not have any complaints? Am no. I am I the perfect roommate? <laughs> no, 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 no. Give me, Give me a you second. Do, you play your records a little loud sometimes. No, I'm just kidding. I love the records. I really do. What's, what's your you always, but you always like apologize. You're like, hey, sorry if I'm playing that too loud. I'm like, no, I'm screaming at the top of my lungs at Call of Duty, so it's cool. <laughs> it balances out well. Yeah, I was about to say, but yeah, Brett, you're you're not really allowed to apologize for any like loud noise related things because like us three got that covered. You guys don't want to say that because I can ways. kick it up to a yeah. ten. I can start being really loud. Now. Will you? I think that'd be funny as fuck. Wait, we got to come right. up with something. We got to come up with a complaint come amongst please. us three right here because I, I really can't think of anything. Oh, all right. Give me I am the perfect roommate. If anyone out here listening wants new roommates, I do too. So Dude. like, give me up. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like there's been times where I've thought like, oh, what the fuck about you and about you? Not like anything to where I'm like uh, actually upset about it, but I'll just be like the caked spatulas, yeah. the piss in the toilet, the pubes <laughs> on the toilet seat. The pubes on the toilet <laughs> seat I'm concerned about. Is somebody going, does somebody have alopecia? Them, no, no, I, I shave alopecia. my pubes in the sink. Why? <laughs> <laughs> this, yeah. Like How a normal about the person, hair though? that was on the faucet today? <laughs> I wiped that up. I wiped no, I sh- there are was you sure? still you Are you sure you did? My hair I shaved. I grabbed the tissue today because I was going, I brushed my teeth. Wait, wait, when's today? I was going sink water. And I made eye level. I was eye level with the faucet, and there were two s- gleaming hairs staring gleaming. back at me. Gleaming. I was going to say sparkling, but then I, I don't know. I gleaming should, was better. Gleaming better. was better, yeah, for sure. And but when's today? Today isn't tonight? Today isn't today because I brushed my teeth. Like, like earlier today? I brushed my teeth at approximately 5.47. When did you shave your pubes? Oh, yeah, that was my – That was no, that was probably my head hair, not my pubes. Head hair? But okay, I shaved my pubes at the same time I did shaved you, my hair. Did you shave your head hair today? <laughs> yeah. I have another roommate complaint. <laughs> What's that? What's that? <laughs> you shave Let's your go. hair and you leave on the bath mat. Sometimes I step out of the shower with wet feet and I just step into a pile of Jordan hair and it's just <laughs> on there for the rest of, until the next shower. I, Wait, I can, you, can you tell that it's this? Yeah. 
Oh, really? Okay. No one else, no one <laughs> no one else shaves, shaves their, their head. head. <laughs> I have a universal complaint. Yes. And I think it's Grant and Jordan. I don't know if it's Brett. Of course it's not fucking Brett. I'm and the perfect roommate. I know roommate. it's not me. Why the fuck do you guys get so much water on the floor when you shower? That's a great question. Yeah. What the fuck, dude? I don't dude. get that much water. Dude, I don't, I don't know. Like I'll go in there afterwards. Do. I'm like in socks, and my socks will just be instantly wet. I'm like, dude, like, there's a curtain. Close it. I really don't think I've ever. And I feel ran like you guys just don't problem. dry yourselves in the shower. I feel like you just step out. There's a bath mat too. If you need to reach for the towel, yeah. like sometimes I forget. And why too, does the bath mat always move by the door, and then I open the door and it drags the bath mat? Great I question. seriously don't Great think I've question. ever had that complaint though. I don't think I've <laughs> what, ever walked water? in the bathroom and there like it'd be like soaked. Yeah. Because it seeps remember. into the, the cracks after you shower. So it, drink, it goes You don't down. realize it when you're wet. Sometimes I walk <laughs> into the bathroom just to use the bathroom, and I'll step in a puddle of water when I'm wearing socks, I think it's, and it ruins I, I the do rest think of my it, day. I do think it is Grant more than anyone. <laughs> I'm fairly certain it's Grant. Grant I think I don't know if it's I don't I, I feel I don't like know, I, th- I, I feel know. like it's I, happened I, more times I, I after might. Grant showers. I, I I can't remember a time it's happened after your showers, but I feel like it has. I don't know though, but I know it has. I might be Grant. I might be taking that one. Uh, I genuinely yeah. don't know. There's like, my, I don't know there's if I wipe myself off. I'll, like, I know turn the shower do. on and I'll like do, do other you, shit and stuff, and then curtain will kind of. Do you wipe yourselves off in the showers? Yeah. Yeah, I know I, mean, I, I, do. I have in the past and I do frequently, but I don't know like how much I do. <laughs> you started with that off with I have in the past. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sometimes yeah, yeah. <laughs> in the past, like that's a uh, lot of time. Brett, 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 Brett. I don't know. I want a roommate, guys. I thrive on feedback. Help <laughs> me myself. All right. Uh, can we think of anything like related with the kitchen? Constructive criticism. I mean, dishes sometimes, like, that doesn't, like, bother me. Like, I know which dishes are Brett because he uses the same ones. So that doesn't, like, any, bother so me. So nothing, I can't think of anything bathroom-related. So uh, I like to attack his personality. Yeah, yeah, no, really, really lay into me. Cut me down to size on, with, for a full audience. I want YouTube to see this. Um, I got one. You're a bit of a tight ass. <laughs> A tight Damn! Ass. Yeah. In what way <laughs> well, am I a tight ass? You need to is, this up, of the Chris- is this because of the Christmas tree? What about the Christmas tree? I mean, Do I you not pay for like the Christmas, the Christmas tree. tree? I don't no, I like I don't the, really Christmas the Christmas tree, but I didn't tree. throw in, and you called me gay. What? I you well, I, me I, I, I was just the only one feeling the Christmas spirit, and that's fine. That's fine. But that's in what way am I a tight ass? <laughs> you have a roast for every single one of us. No, absolutely. I don't have a roast, roast for Kenny. Kenny, you're killing it as a roommate. You, you just look great in sweatpants, man. You're such a tight ass. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You guys are gonna make me blush on camera. <laughs> Oh man, uh, Jordan! I finished mine approximately like an hour and a half after you finished yours. Wait, is this my? Oh, this is my You're first one. Shot. Of this. Oh, oh, okay. I'm following. This thing, yeah. Okay. I thought that was a diss, but it was somewhat of a compliment slight, for slight alcoholism. Flex. A subtle flex. Like subtle flex. He drinks. This guy drinks. Fuck. Yeah, I can't think of one for Brett. Perfect roommate. <laughs> <laughs> If anyone um, watching this needs someone to live with, I'm perfect. <laughs> He's always leaving his Excel line around, which... Hey, I'm that I won't apologize for. Hey, Kenny, how do you feel about Excel? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Just just opening a new spreadsheet. Instant half chub. Spreadsheet. Yeah. There's I just want to spread my sheets open when I open a spreadsheet. <laughs> There's nothing quite like Microsoft Excel. <laughs> Until you uh, use the simple query wizard in Microsoft Access. <laughs> hey. <laughs> That's <laughs> a little bit of inside baseball here for the people listening at home, you know? These they two might have been cranking to their Excel homework oh. this semester, <laughs> oh. and I'm really, really getting weirded out by it. <laughs> I respect the program. You know, it's powerful. <laughs> you use it for data management. There's really just so much automation cranking. behind just it. Just so much power and... I'm turning into my dad Data. because I love Microsoft Excel, and so does my dad. <laughs> no, the, the joke kind of is, though, like, the teacher that me and Brett both have in this, like, Excel access class, it's like a business Excel and access class, and she is just completely overly obsessed with, like, Microsoft Excel. Yeah. She's like, yeah, she's like, I really love just working with, uh, working with, uh, some pie charts in Excel. 
And she'll be like, she'll be like, oh yeah. She's like, today we're gonna be doing queries and access. She's like, you guys will really love this. And we're like, no, we won't. <laughs> like, what do you mean? She's like, she's like, yeah, this is a lot of fun to do. Uh, what it's really of, helpful. She's what like, kind I, she's like, I know you guys. That, it doesn't matter what professor it is. No professor says that about their material because you're still in school. She raised yeah, her hand yeah, and said, yeah, yeah. "All right, who here really loves <laughs> working work with Microsoft Access?" Uh, Oh, okay, nobody? <laughs> okay, well, that's fine. We'll just get into it then. <laughs> Dude, literally. Like, I'm not getting, she's just so overly excited about it. It's so strange. Damn. What's the next topic? What are we getting weird on next? I'm, I like, let's follow the this. Roommate, the roommate, the roommate confessions is good. I'm glad we did that. I yeah, enjoyed my, that too. I just regret that we starting to couldn't hurt come up with anything for Brett. Yeah. It's because I am very good to live with. You are, you are very, very considerate. Yeah, very, you are considerate. very considerate. Brett, yeah. I'll think of something over the next week. Brett, I feel like um, we definitely, obviously, like, we're, we're boys. We've warmed up to each other substantially. Sure. I feel like at the beginning of the year, you were kind of checking my vibe. <laughs> you know, that's, that's fair, Kenny. I didn't know what kind of dude you were. I hadn't really met you initially. Yeah. I kind of just moved in. And you know what? It's been great living with you. I'm going to be honest, though. The first, uh, because, so the first, um, for 10 days, I believe it was 10, it was like two weeks. For two weeks, and it was like the first two weeks of which I moved in, I was on a steroid to, like, help with my shit. Yeah. And it just made me, like, really, like, easily pissed and like aggressive i guess and i felt like i was kind of being a dick sometimes and i felt like <laughs> I <c> <laughs> cut that part out immediately and then when we get home tonight you need to wash it was these so like, gross, pop filters. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> why didn't you hold it out here <laughs> I, was like, I, I, I saw the see. whole thing i like i heard the building <gasps> <laughs> I get that it's. I was in denial season. if it was gonna happen or not. But no, I, I was, felt like I was trying to force it out. I just felt like I was being a dick, and I was just getting constant vibe checks from Brett. And I was like, damn, like I think Brett's a dope ass guy, but he doesn't really fuck with me because I'm kind of being a dick. <laughs> you think I'm a dope ass guy, Kenny? Yeah. <laughs> That's wrong. I'm not. I'm actually. I'll say this. I'll, I'll say this. Say, like, this I, the first like two weeks, I just felt like I was an asshole. <laughs> I feel like part of it was because of the steroid thing. I, I didn't pick up on that at all. Really? No, I, I just felt like this was. I'm glad we. No, got I'll, that out I'll there say it, going about. off of that, Kenny. That that would be mine for Brett. I I felt like I didn't vibe with Brett like at first because I didn't really like get you yet. It, does that make sense? I, I understand that. The first, you, that, that the makes first, sense. It does make sense. Like, to be honest, like, I, okay, I told my mom whenever we were all down for that one weekend, I'm like, he seems cool. He seems like he's going to be pretty cool and like a nice guy, like genuine, considerate, and like we'll all get along. But I think he's kind of awkward. Oh, That's absolutely. what I told my mom. I told my mom. <laughs> Bradley, yeah, Bradley, yeah. I, I remember one time you said I was awkward and I just looked at you. I don't think Brett's... <laughs> I think Brett's. I don't think Brett's awkward. You just I think he. I think you use. I don't think you're awkward at all. I think you use like kind of like how um, Nathan Fielder does. You use that as part of your humor, so it comes off like that. I've learned and to just. I gotta. I, I'm gonna be awkward regardless. Like I tried not to be, and it didn't work. So I just kind of <laughs> lean into it. Like I don't know. Most people kind of like get awkward jokes, and I'm pretty awkward. No, so. yeah, dude. The, like that's, I feel like that's a very good when type of you, comedy. What, and I what point in your life did you try to get out of it, and what did that look like? Did you start wearing like wife beaters and like? No. What, <laughs> what is up with you guys? That was his Vin Diesel beaters? phase. <laughs> oh yeah, my right. Vin Diesel phase was actually yeah. That was a substantial video. part of my life. I showed that video to so many people. Did, did they like it? What's the general oh, reaction yeah. to it? There's like I mean most it. Part of it's people don't know you, so they're just like, what the fuck? And, I mean, part of it's people just don't, like, understand, like, the Fast and the Furious side yeah. of it, I guess. So it doesn't... It's very specific, yeah. yeah. it's very specific, but it still gets fairly well received. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad to hear that. I mean, no, I've shown that to a few people, and they're like, what the fuck? That's so, like, weird but hilarious. <laughs> One night I did... Like, why does he have a bald cat? It was Vin Diesel, yeah. <laughs> I did a very passionate Vin Diesel impression around someone I didn't know super well. And it was, I was pretty embarrassed. Like the next day, looking back, I was like, why am I shouting Vin Diesel quotes right now in my own home? <laughs> <laughs> that being said, it was, it was pretty good. It was like a good impression, I think. When did you try not to be awkward in your life? Oh, man. Like, I, I tried. Late high school, early college. Throughout, middle school? Uh, Were you know. trying in middle school? I don't know what was going on in middle school. I don't. <laughs> I don't remember. I was offline back me, then. I don't remember any part of my life. Let me ask offline. you this. Like, and this is, I'm asking because this is how I was from probably like fourth through like 10th grade, something like that. Sure. I was 
would you all right see if this is like an accurate description for yourself because i think you're very analytical like you, you analyze like things like very deeply at least more than like the common person I, that's that's my opinion but anyway um you would you would or okay this is what i would do sorry so what i would do is i would whenever i entered like a new social group i would sit back and be really <coughs> reserved and really quiet and i would analyze them and like like I would just see how the group interacted, see what's like acceptable, how these guys like joked around, what they joked about, what kind of topics they were into, what hobbies, what interests. And it was usually, it wasn't like I did that for a long time, but like say I hang out with these guys for like four hours. Like the first four hours, I might be pretty quiet and then I'll slowly build into myself. Does that make sense? Like just so I'd, I'd almost like not morph to the group, but like kind of in a way. I mean, like I'd sit back and analyze before I attacked. Some sort of guerrilla warfare. You can't, say you can't say that with the mustache. <laughs> yeah, I can't. Yeah, it's taken way too literally. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I always try to like read the room, I guess. But at the same time, you know, I, I want to be myself, not like I don't know. I tried not to be awkward and it didn't work, so like, I don't <laughs> try that anymore. I'll just be awkward, and that's my life, and it's a living hell if I'm being honest. <laughs> 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 oh man. <laughs> no, because whenever we moved in, I was, I was Grant was like, he's he. Uh, what, how what was your what was your description of Brett? Yeah, I, I like hearing this because Grant Grant described me as being like, oh, he's the guy who's gonna get like sketched out and keep us from doing dumb shit. <laughs> no, Which, no, no, no. It was it was something that, like and that's a compliment. I don't know. That like makes you, me sound like a narc. It was something, something like almost <laughs> like you didn't you weren't like super outgoing, but when you did say something, it would like it cut like a knife. Like it like your jokes cut like a knife. He'll and say very, shit, and I, you have yeah. to sit there and think for a solid Dude. three seconds, and then it hits you, and you're like, oh, my God, that was, like, three layers the deep. I ra- the I ra- <laughs> that's my f- that, Brett, that's one of my favorite jokes of all time. <laughs> the <laughs> I rock <laughs> joke. <laughs> I've told you both about Did that. Did you come up with that on the top of your head? Wait, I forgot this Dude, one. no, it was like that. Because like, there's no way, like, so I, um, for whatever reason i'm a business administration major but i have to take a geology class for the lab and in the lab i have to make sense in, yeah i have to bring in my ta uh i have to bring a rock to her and like talk about it with her it's so fucking stupid and i, w- I told i was just bitching about it because i fucking ate that class and brett was just there to like listen i guess i don't know yeah and i was like yeah dude i was like i have to bring in a fucking rock i was like i have to bring in a rock to my teacher and like give it to her and talk about it he goes yeah and like literally like that, like oh. as soon as I said it, he goes, yeah, dude. He goes, you should bring her a map of Iraq, <laughs> and be like, yeah, here's Iraq. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what, dude? He's like, yeah, just bring her a map of Iraq. I fucking lost. <laughs> that's serious. That's seriously it, been my the favorite what joke. Dude, of this the what, semester. dude, is like every single time you literally have to sit there and be like, okay, and I got her now, and wow, that's that's pretty crazy. Yeah, I you know. I lost my shit, dude. Yeah, like just. However, like the more clever you can get with humor, like the more I like you as a human being. No, every like every person who I've been like, oh yeah, that's like my roommates are like Jordan, Graham, Brett, or whatever. I'll be like, oh yeah, that's Brett. I like tell them that story after I'm like, oh yeah, that's Brett. (laughs) (laughs) Just so they know, like, when you tell people about Jordan, you should tell them about the the bathroom thing. Just so (laughs) they know, like, yeah, yeah, this is Jordan. He doesn't flush. It's weird. (laughs) (laughs) It's a problem. The hell is mine? This is Grant. He. Has an issue he with can't controlling his volume. And, can, <laughs> and doesn't know how to turn his TV volume up. <laughs> Living room, bedroom, man. It's not. It's uh-huh. Yeah, you have it really hard. Grant. And thin. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, there's a... <laughs> yeah, yeah, I probably should. Your room's, like, connected to both living rooms. Like, there's the basement living room, which you hear everything from, like, down in that area. And then there's the living room, living room, which obviously you hear everything from. I blast my fan. I don't. I don't hear anything out there. That's pretty awesome. That's <laughs> yeah, because you're not out there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is grand. He likes to express his satisfaction vocally. <laughs> <laughs> Grunchually. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. <all. laughs> oh, yeah, I'm gonna sure. be honest. I don't think there are many people that have made it this far to this point. So. <laughs> No offense, I think you have a great fucking podcast, and I love it so Dude, much. Dude, you should cut out like some of the earlier stuff and keep like the like the started off like the roommate confessions shit, and then we can keep going right now, and it yeah. would still be good content. Oh, I, I like really that cool. idea because a lot of podcasts I've noticed they 
like the first 10 minutes sometimes are like not that great, but the rest of the podcast is fucking awesome. Yeah. I'm not yeah. saying that's It just this. takes a second to like get into a rhythm, I feel like. Yeah, it really does. It really does. It's weird I definitely hearing. think that happened last night, but anyway. It's weird hearing my own, by, my own voice through the headphones. Like it really throws me Whoa. off. I don't like the way they sound. You know? never, I wish I sounded. Never done radio. Different. No, I've never done radio. I can put on the radio voice though. Have you, you seen the movie Radio, with Cuba Gooding Jr.? Uh, yeah, I have. It's a good movie. It's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I like that movie. I'm sorry. It inspires me. Dude, sure. never apologize for being inspired. Yeah, <laughs> never, not ever. I'm so pissed we didn't come up with a complaint with Brett. I really want to. You, I'm wait. I I really want some feedback so I can improve myself personally as a roommate. I think you're one of the funniest All people right. I've ever All met right. my entire life. I really do. I think you're fucking hilarious. Lucy. We're we're doing uh we're doing roommate, roommate confessions right now, going around the room and just laying it on each other how What's we've been shitty as a roommate and we're all struggling for bread. Yeah, what I'm the perfect how roommate. I'm shitty. I'm great to live with. No, figure. no, there's got to be something. Uh, but what if you had to? That's not a criticism. That's a compliment. Buster loves me the most because I just sit on the couch like a piece of shit all day, and so does Buster. So we really vibe together. You guys got very similar interests. <laughs> like, oh shit, you like to sleep on this couch? You too? look out the window sometimes. Do you want me to take you for a Thank walk, you. Brett? Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Lucy. Thank you. Shout out to Lucy. What? Is there a chance I can get another beer? You guys close down. Okay, that's cool. Ooh. No worries. Forgot about this hey, guy. Jordan, can I steal that plate? This? Yeah. Do you? Would you like this as well? I would love that. You can just. Thank you. Thank you, Lucy. All right. Anyone got like anything else? That dude, she didn't Kenny charge me. She didn't charge me for the food. Really? She didn't Damn. charge me for the drink. Uh, yeah, let's all tip her pretty well. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. yeah. Tip her like seven bucks. Shout out to Springfield Brew Co. Sponsored, sponsoring this episode. Yeah. Right? And also, well, I don't know if we want to say that because we just said how she helped us out. Yeah, that's true. We're sponsored today by Hopefully Audible. Hopefully the owner of Springfield. <laughs> the number one source for audio books. <laughs> Audible.com, let's see what... I don't know. Audible.com lets you read books. But on electronic devices. I get that far into the ad reads on podcasts, and I'm like, all right, I'm skipping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what comes in? What does it do? Go back. What's uh, what's some more topics? I'm really enjoying. Now that we're into it, I'm really enjoying. I say we cut out like a little bit of the first step. I agree. I agree. And agree. then continue with some some good conversation. Yeah. I need to lean back. Yeah, yeah, we can go with that. I like that idea. Um. For sure. I don't know. He's your bartender. He's cider. not everybody else's bartender here. Okay. I think you just spilled someone there. Thank you, Lucy. Lucy, what's your complaint about a roommate, not me specifically? We're, we're airing out roommate beefs. What's you don't give Buster enough love. Ah, uh, yeah, you're that's a so shitty so dog owner. Oh, that's oh. Dog. me? <laughs> <laughs> he, he took a shit on the floor today, Dude, man. I literally let him out two hours before that. That dog shits so much, dude. It's is anxiety his, because he misses Is his bag you. of food still no. on the ground right no. next to his food bowl? Hey, no. Hey, you want to right. dog in the door for me? Uh, you gotta take oh, the headphones. Nice. Look at dude. that. Another another uh, pro for the roommate. He's got really long arms to reach stuff. Yeah, I'm always <laughs> reaching stuff on the top shelf for Grant. <laughs> Grant, uh, Grant, 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 the the scrubber thing. <laughs> I noticed <laughs> everybody in the house when I'll, they use it, they I'll, put it up I'll on the come hook. Come over this table right now. They what put it up say? on the hook and you leave it in the sink because <laughs> you can't reach that. Or maybe Sometimes. I, maybe actually, I put it on I the usually, side. I put it on the really? side. I usually hook it up, but sometimes I'm lazy. Now. Here's the thing. Sometimes I you guys just it. leave it in the sink, and the last brush got mold on yeah. it. I've been meaning to talk about this for a minute. I always <laughs> I always hook my brush. Kenny, that's because you're a considerate roommate. I am. And that's, that's why we have no George, complaints about you. I feel like me and you are the shit roommates. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you and I have gotten called yeah, out Yeah, we've gotten us. some beef. Yeah, do you guys want to yeah. move out? <laughs> <laughs> I think I might in like two, three weeks, roughly. Oh. Roughly. That's fair. Not soon enough. All right. We anyone got a topic or anything? Let's get some Um, topics. Elon Musk Neuralink. Oh, we talked about this last time on my podcast. Last night? Yeah. Dude, 
Isn't it crazy? <laughs> I honestly Dude, don't I, know like. I, I know you. Have you. Do you like? Do you know anything about this grant? I yeah, like you've explained rage. it to me. Yeah, yeah, I feel like I have just because I like I've watched a lot of videos on it because it's fucking crazy. It's basically the Matrix, dude. You can download information into your brain. It'll yeah. completely, like, like I don't know. It'll it'll make just the entire education system irrelevant. Like, there will be no need for schooling. And then, the, I don't know. It, it's crazy. That's, I don't think it's... I don't know. I feel like it could be in year. our lifetime. That's got to have Late years in our and lifetime. years on it, though, when it, com- like, when it comes to, like, final. Like, that, I don't know if we'll see that or not. What's up? Dude, there was a new Star Wars Rise of Skywalker trailer on that TV. <laughs> wait, okay, wait. So this is a question I had last night. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you, if you have a question yes, or if you are seeking some information, so let's say I bring up a question, you don't know the answer, and you have Neural Link installed, are you able so, to access that as if you're accessing a past memory? No, no, no. It's something that you have to download through, uh, I, I believe it's injected. So it's, it's like injected information. What, what, what does that mean? Like the way, the way Elon Musk was describing it was it's basically like getting a shot in your neck. I don't like shots. I'm not doing it. <laughs> it's out. it's literally you're, injected you're getting, information. It's not like you just have a database in your brain and you can just be like, your neck and you're not like, oh, that's that 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 that. I'm not but like Elon Musk what if in my it was neck. Injected in a different way. I don't know, dude. I just neck. what what confuses me is your abil- is the ability to access this information. So like once you have this information downloaded into your brain, is it just as accessible as like the memory of your 16th birthday or something like that? I don't remember my 16th birthday. Okay, I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. As is it as memorable as I don't know. Does Elon Musk have my memories? <laughs> <laughs> Probably, dude. That guy's a fucking alien. Did you see him on that Rogan podcast? <laughs> he knows something. Yo, on this Rogan podcast. I'm just kidding. No, dude. He uh, there's a clip on the Joe Rogan podcast with Elon Musk though, and it, it he doesn't seem like human in it. Like he is like uh, he's talking about artificial intelligence and how we're advancing it far like way too fast and how it's gonna like like us to the cat us to the house cat is gonna be artificial intelligence to us like it, it, he said he estimated <laughs> That's in like quite twenty the parallel to, yeah he's estimated in like twenty to thirty years dude there's a fucking robot that the the French developed and it uh it runs so fast you have to use a strobe light to detect it holy shit yeah. There's like parkour robots and shit. Like it just, run really, it it just runs really fast, though. Like I mean, <laughs> yeah, but dude, imagine that thing in a fucking war. The thing is, they're going to use it for war, obviously. Probably. Uh, but I, I don't know. And he was like, he uh, was talking about how he like went to a, a convention with Congress or whatever. And this is like, I'm going to reenact it. He literally went, it's like, I tried to warn them. This was futile. They did not listen. <laughs> I tried to warn them. Like, it literally, like that's how he talked. No, that, that actually you, sounds pretty accurate. Yeah, yeah, like, as to how he, like, described it, I was like, what the fuck? And even Joe Rogan was like, dude, what? The? He's like, dude, that was, like, the beginning to some, like, that was, like, the beginning to a sci-fi thriller. <laughs> He's like, that, like, what the fuck, dude? He's like, yep, I tried to warn them. I feel like that, I'm just dude, watching that, I'm like, damn. Wasn't he really, was that the pod he smoked on? Maybe he was just. Yeah, like, yeah, no, 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 that was before he smoked. He took one hit off it, too. I don't know why people were freaking out. I don't even think he was high. They, they were sipping on scotch the whole time. They freaked out because, like, Tesla was in trouble. For yeah, no, their, some their stock quota. dropped significantly, like, within hours after that. I mean, before that, they were going through turmoil, and then, like, the CEO of the company is smoking a blunt on Joe Rogan. Yeah, no, it's not good. I'd be pissed, too, if I was a shareholder. Yeah. <laughs> I I'd, I'd never invest in an Elon Musk company, though. I would Because there's, he has so much shit. <laughs> he yeah. has so much shit going on. He's never going to put, like, his time and effort all into one shit, which I don't think there's a problem with. I think it's fucking awesome that he's doing, like, SpaceX while he's, like, still, like, I don't know, doing shit with Tesla. I think it's really fucking cool. And then this fucking Neuralink thing. I don't know, man. The boring company. The boring company. The flame fucking throwers. making flamethrowers. Like, what the fuck? What's this guy's deal? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I think he's, I don't know. I, think, I feel like he's a very revolutionary human. But is he human? Don't I don't know, that. dude. Maybe he's a robot. What do you guys, uh... Since we're getting to like weird shit like that, and just because it was a topic that was brought up on that podcast with Elon Musk and Joe Rogan, uh, he said there's it, he believes it's more likely that we are in a simulation than not. Yeah, I don't think I believe that. You don't think so? How would that be backed up? Yeah, he, that's baseless speculation, really. 
Like baseless word. speculation. That's all it is. Baseless <laughs> speculation. Just baseless because Brett can word himself well, he doesn't mean you have to. He just doesn't him. talk loud enough. So I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Grant's my hype man. <laughs> you have to emphasize all his words. Yeah, basically. Oh, uh, dude. I feel like it's just kind of crazy. I feel like deja. Well, vu. Do you remember when we were some of the talking to? For that? I feel like deja vu is a pretty good indicator of that. Or I, I see, I see like numbers that's like a, a lot. Glitch in the brain or something. That's I don't know. I don't know. I see numbers a lot. Like I see 444 all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a glitch in the matrix scanning? I don't know, dude. I, sh- I feel like it's a sign for something. Or is your brain just looking for some kind of pattern? Or is I don't know, dude. Like I see, for I see 444 and I see 1111 a lot at very strange times. Dude, the other night I was in some deep thought in the shower and you know that Miller light can that's just chilling in there? Yeah, how did that get there? I, dude, I, I drank it. <laughs> Shut the fuck. I literally drank that at the beginning of the semester and put it there and it's been there ever since. But no, um, oh, I was, it was you. I thought it was Jordan. No, it was me. Yeah, it's been there ever since. It's kind of like a token. I was I was looking at that today while showering, Did and you I see was the like, expiration date on it. No, but I was looking at it, and I was like, I should bring this up on the podcast because I have no idea whose this is. It's been it, there yeah, for it was a mine. I put it in there. But no, listen. So I've never what that Miller Light can that's just chilling in the oh, shower. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm talking about. Yeah. But no, uh, I was in deep thought about something like I, I, it was kind of a decision I had to make, I guess. And like, I don't know, I was just in very deep thought in the shower. And <laughs> of course, Jordan. that's the place you do it. And I don't know. Out. No, it was it had nothing to do with that. But no. And I was thinking, and for some reason, like my mind was like, look at the expiration date on the can. And I did. And it was November 11th. 11, 11. How weird is that? I, feel, I see that number a lot, too. I see that a lot. I see 444 a lot. I totally thought it was going to be Corey's birthday. I don't, I don't <laughs> no, know. No, 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 no. <laughs> well, I said November. I don't know, I'm just saying, I feel like there's weird shit like that. Like, I don't know. Like, so, like there's been a few times, like, even just throughout this year, I've woken up in the middle of the night, and it's been 444 a.m. That's really I weird that you like that's weird. that. Because, like, I wake up at night, and I don't even check the time. I don't know. Like, I'll just wake up and look at the time. It'll be 444. I'm like, oh, what the fuck? That's so weird. I'll go back to that. I've seen that number. I've noticed that number. The so my parents got divorced in like 2005 2006. That's something I've noticed since then. Cause I remember I've, I I remember noticing 444 a lot when I was a kid and in that house that they were married in. Mm. And I like still see it very frequently today. That's interesting. I, I used I, to I used to have that with 214. 214. 214. Yep. I don't know why. And 930. Valentine's Day. <laughs> of course. <laughs> it all makes sense. <laughs> Fuck up. No, no, no. I get that. I, I get like that. That's strange. I, there, I mean, someone's I feel like gonna, there's someone's gonna to throw it. out the debate of like, oh, are you looking for it? But like, I don't know how often. I mean, maybe you mentally it? you could be like, maybe like can, s- since since time's like technically a construct and it's like that's the same time every day and your brain's kind of like always on a schedule. Yeah. Like maybe your brain just like triggers that and you look for it. Yeah. I don't, I don't like know. seeing it weird places. Like I don't know. Like the other like a couple of days ago, Dak Prescott, the Cowboys quarterback, I'm doing it. the Cowboys quarterback threw for 444 yards. I feel like sometimes I'll look up stats. Like there will just be random stats I'll see on my phone. It'll be like a receiver has four catches for 44 yards, and I'll just see that particular stat for some reason. Like I'll be watching the game, and then you know how like on like sports they have like the little like sliders at the bottom showing all the stats and scores from the day. Like I'll be watching the game, then I'll look out down at the bottom, and like what I'll see is four catches for 44 yards. Interesting. Isn't that weird? I yeah. think I don't yeah, know. Like I don't know really if it's bizarre. just in my mind, but that's like something I've noticed since like I was really young. So I feel like there's got to be some sort of pertinence to it. I wonder if it leads up to something. I know. I know there was a. I would always notice 38 at the end of. At the end of like, so it could be any time. It could be 138. It could be 438. Like any time, and then in the and I don't know if this is actually what the significance was, but. With 38 seconds left, we lost in like kind of like a big big game of like in state of soccer. They scored with 38 seconds left. 38 seconds left, and then I quit seeing it, like I, or at least I quit noticing it. One of the two. Really? Yeah, it, it was weird. It's it, like, crazy. Because I was it's same deal with you. Like I was noticing it. I was noticing. It, I was noticing. It. I was like, what the fuck? Why is this? And then damn, you're telling me April 2044. I'm <laughs> I'm fucked. <laughs> I don't know. I think Maybe. I think the human brain is designed to like pick up on patterns. Like I think a lot of what goes into like IQ tests and stuff is like how quickly and efficiently you can recognize patterns and stuff like yeah. that. So part of me think it's 
think it's that. Isn't that called confirmation bias too? Like whenever you notice something, and like you, you notice it out of a group of things, and then you're you kind it kind of resonates with you more because you're familiar with it, and you kind of have some opinion of it beforehand or something like that. Yeah, like it's confirming your what you already believe. But I don't, maybe Morpheus is trying to recruit you guys. And just doesn't want <laughs> <laughs> Morpheus, yeah. yeah. He's like, you're not going to survive outside the Matrix, bro. <laughs> Stay in maybe, there. Maybe, dude. Maybe in April 2024, Morpheus is and I are going to get weird. I, wait, wait. I the date is I April 2044? No, I'm just saying April, like, the year 2044 would be 444. Mm. So I don't know. Maybe I'm going to die then. I'd That'd get a suck. beer with Morpheus. That'd be dope. Have you guys ever fucked around with the Ouija board? Yes. To my m- no. I'm not even really? <laughs> Guys, we should get a, let's, let's do a Ouija board. I know. Bro, no. Yeah, I don't let's say she it. literally oh, is God. a walking Ouija board. What is he going to do? <laughs> Everyone is so scared. I've talked to a lot of people that are really like concerned about Ouija boards. I don't what is a ghost going to do to me? I live here in the stories, Have you never man. seen Paranormal Activity? I, yeah, I've seen Paranormal Activity. And do, you guys, do you guys think the exorcist was real? No. Yeah, I think it was that bullshit. took place in St. Louis, right? Yeah, that's so yeah. they say. I think that's bullshit, or if not bullshit, completely exaggerated. I think it was just somebody that was mentally insane. <laughs> and even if there are ghosts in general, what is a ghost gonna do to me? Like, uh, what? Anyone? Have you ever heard of people getting killed by ghosts or like getting hurt by a ghost? I've heard I've heard stories about people getting hurt by ghosts. Yeah, never hear. Killed. Let's let me hear the. Can I? Can you tell it on the pod? Is that acceptable? you saw it on TLC? It's real. Uh, can I also right, shut? So can this I shut this door behind me? Is that allowed? Yeah, go. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I'd prefer. Dude, I was like, like my my mom made me go to like a bunch of Christian camps in like middle school, and I heard the story about like a bunch of kids in a town. All put, like there were a few different spots where like different kids were playing on Ouija boards, and they all like all the Ouija boards apparently told the same address, like this one address. And so all these kids in this town apparently go to this address, and all these kids start showing up at this place, and then apparently some kids like drop to the like three kids drop to the ground, and like underwent some sort of like. Dude. I don't know. That was just your youth like pastor telling you to pray yeah. more. <laughs> <laughs> you know, do you know how many? Very s- possible. Yeah, they're, they're, they they might like, have been just so. Long story stories. short, say a prayer before you go to bed. <laughs> having don't fuck with the having yeah. gone to a Christian grade school and high school, I'm really aware of how many times like I've just been flat out lied to by people. <laughs> yeah. No, f- for sure. Propaganda. Like, people are telling me and like and. We used to have a whole, like, assemblies about how the world is actually, like, 6,000 years old. And I'm like, you're not a scientist. Dude, Brandon. You remember Brandon? I'm sorry for interrupting. No, please, go ahead. Brandon, our youth pastor used to say shit like that. And he used to say, like, dinosaurs didn't exist. He used to say, like, dinosaurs weren't real and the earth was, like. I don't remember saying that. You don't remember that? Dude, I remember there was one one youth session that I went to at River Oaks. And Brandon, I remember, I, like, went back and I talked to my mom. I was like, yeah, it was, like, it was really weird. I was like, he was saying, like dinosaurs weren't real and like I don't know he was like trying to show us all this stuff that proved dinosaurs weren't real he was like flat earth and our shit and he was like yeah the earth's probably about like a little bit older than Jesus I was like what? it's like no it's not there's fucking pyramids <laughs> like those didn't just like I pop up with the earth I don't remember yeah, right? saying dinosaurs weren't real I, Dude, I, I heard all kinds of crazy stuff like that at Lutheran High about how like the world used to be surrounded by water, and then that's what Noah's flood came from. And, and they the claim time, that was like, I'm like six what the fuck is going on? Why, why <laughs> am I not in a math class right now? Why can't I not be better at math yeah. instead of like listening to this guy explain why the world's 6,000 years old? Uh, <laughs> the Bible was just taken. Wait, so he said literally. that Noah happened, if that even happened, 6,000 years ago? Like around then, because like that's, yeah, yeah. that's it's still it's in like Genesis. 6, oh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. It's remembered like How ridiculous dinosaurs is that? Were, became extinct from the flood. I went to a yeah. church which was only six thousand years ago. Correct. Yeah, and they were just. I guess no. It was just like yeah. Fuck the dinosaurs. I'm gonna take some monkeys though. The boat wasn't big enough. <laughs> yeah, the boat's just not nearly big enough. Couldn't get. Have you seen that T Rex? I went to, to a church. Well, we can get elephants. Giraffes and elephants though. Bring them. <laughs> that brontosaurus though. I don't know how many times you guys have been to a church service as an adult. But it's really weird. The last time I went, I, been a while. I had, I, this wasn't the last time, it was like two or three times ago. I go with my parents every now and then. Yeah. I had a dude just talk about how like Muslims are actually worshiping Satan and like Satan works through them. What? And this in, was like doing, during a sermon? 
Was like, this at a main? This, uh, I don't want to say what church it was at. Uh, this was at a sermon, though. Like a, a pastor. This was, was like no, this wasn't a pastor. This was a guest speaker who was doing missionary work in Africa. And he's like, yeah, people come to me with the devil inside them. And that's because of, like, Muslims. And I'm in the crowd. And, like, <laughs> this is 8 o'clock. Everybody's like, amen. My amen. Parents, my, my parents always want to go to 8 a.m. church, which is just the, the boomer worst. city. Yeah. yeah, literally. And they're, like, they're saying all this, like, like just weird, hateful shit about how, like, they're like, yeah, I've seen the devil over there in Africa and, the, and like, the Muslims what over the there. What the fuck, dude? That's so whack. And they're Bold like, statement to I, see the devil. I, yeah, I was like, no, you no, you haven't. <laughs> do, you guys, uh, do you guys know Element Church off 70? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, they, I, block, they block up traffic every Sunday when yeah, I'm trying to yeah, go to, no. go to uh, the other church. My dad used to go there, and we stopped going, like, uh, because they would have uh, they would do ads like in the middle of the sermon. Really? They would plug ads in the middle of the sermon. <laughs> 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 it was uh, I remember it was like the middle. We were literally like just like it was about a quarter of the way through one of the sermons or whatever, and this pastor like took a break and then plugged an ad real quick. And my dad's like, all right, yeah, we're fucking leaving. Like this is ridiculous. <laughs> He's like, I'm not coming here to get like ads shoved in my face like while I'm trying to go to That's, church. Yeah, I've never heard that one. Before. Yeah. That's crazy. Mm. It you was can, weird. You can tell. It was only like two a sermon, but still like that's bizarre. Just plugging ads and shit. It was weird. You yeah. can tell how paid that church is because they have a cop uh, stop in direct traffic on Sundays, and like I've heard people look into that, and they are like, it's very very expensive yeah. to like rent a cop. Basically, also it's weird you can just rent a cop to like <laughs> direct traffic. <for> yeah. You. <laughs> hey 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 you you come here. <laughs> yeah. Um, can I borrow you? What are you? What are your rates? That is, that is a weird concept. The weirdest thing about my old elementary school, and I know you guys went to a location of like the same same kind of elementary, just what like elementary school twenty minutes away. Do you guys care if I say it? I don't care. Uh, I went to Emmanuel Lutheran in oh, St. Yeah, Charles, no, Missouri. Forgot. It's like in it's on Main Street, St. Charles, There's which is Charles, which is where Lewis and Clark left. Fun fact: like you guys obviously know that, but is it Sacagawea fact, or Sacagawea? What? Sacagawea or Sacagawea? Before you continue. I always heard Sacagawea. I've always heard Sacagawea. I've heard Sacagawea as well. I mean, I I can see that being right. She was with Lewis and Clark, Clarence. Yeah, I I can see that being right. Yeah, based on the spelling? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know that. Anyway. I've never heard that. But anyway, um, yeah, they did not teach science, and they also took church attendance there. At the, like the St. Charles one, at least. I don't don't know. Church attendance? Like for the students? I've seen that before. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think I've seen that. So we used to do that for our PSR. We were required to go on Wednesdays, like during during the day, someday, like it was part of school, and then on Sundays we were also asked to go. Huh. And they like took attendance that following Monday. Really? No, we uh for my PSR at uh I think it was St. Joe's or something in Cottleville. Uh, we had, they would make us like do att- church attendance, like make sure we went. I used to have to go to chapel in high school like two, three times a week, and it was terrible. You know how terrible it is to go into high school at 8 a.m.? They're like, all right, we're going to go sing some songs now in the, <laughs> in the gym. <laughs> Sucks. <laughs> terrible thing to, like, wake it's up and start. the last thing too. I want to do at 8 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. Christian high schools, don't send your kids there. It's terrible. With, the, what blows my mind the most is the people that grow up and go to elementary and middle school at those, like, Christian or Catholic places. Mm-hmm. Like, like I see an extension off of it. Yeah, like they always end up the wildest. Not always, yeah. but do I mean on the topic go of to ICD schools. specifically, I wasn't going to go this route, but there were three girls from our high school. All came in together, all three got pregnant. Like all from, from ICD. ICD? That all does from not ICD. Me at all, dude. It's cuz I feel like what it is mostly and I know this especially like in our experiences with our youth group, once like those kids all they know is like church 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 church. Once they get like a taste of that other side, they go to the extreme with it. I've I've also seen that like coming from Lutheran High like a lot of people go yeah. that way and like I can't just say like, God 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 God, God God dude it's almost it's almost as if it's no, no, like, oh like, weed what? just give kids like a broader perspective oh it absolutely oh for so, sure like, like yeah guess what alcohol yeah it's a thing you drink it feels good yeah. like just be more straight up instead of being instead of just the sheltering aspect yeah I think, no, sheltering, I think the sheltering I think sheltering is like good to it. To an extent, extent. Yeah. it's that balance. But like yeah. it's all like with like crazy shit. Like I don't know. Like, like don't but know. being like, oh, you you jerked off last night. You're going to hell. <laughs> you satisfied that need? 
Sinner. Sinner. <laughs> yeah. And I don't know. I think it contributes negatively, like, outside of partying, too. Like, coming out of, like, a Lutheran high school, I was like, I don't know. The amount of times I'm just, like, flat out lied to or, like, uh -huh. why did I devote so many hours of my education to learning about the Bible? Like, I'm never, ever going to use right. this. <laughs> Unless you're, like, yeah. going to be a pastor. They were like, go oh. to a, then go to a, like, Catholic college. <laughs> yeah. And there were whole teachers that dedicated their lives to, like, teaching of the Old Testament. I don't know. It's like, not that, it's not that interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I just don't get it. Yeah, I know. I feel you, dude. Just, right. it I seems like a little I brainwashing. A little brainwashing. A little restricting. And, yeah, like, they, they take about a lot of your freedoms. Oh, there's definitely like, brainwashing. Oh, absolutely. There's brainwashing. There is certainly. Like, something stupid that they did. They didn't let me go to recess when it was cold outside. Or it was, like, kind of chilly, but I wasn't cold. Like, I genuinely was not cold. And I had a T-shirt and pants on. And I remember this. The, like, in sixth grade, and my teacher goes, hey, go go inside and go put on a hoodie. And I'm like, no, like, I'm fine. Like, I'm, I'm actually not cold. I know yeah. you, you might be cold because you're old. But <laughs> but because you're old is dirt. They, but they, my young, very, very vital skin... Very rejuvenated skin is able to trap in my warmth and I'm fine. I will say they did that at public school with me too, though. Oh really? They would like make us put on jackets. Like if they saw some kid out of that jacket, they're but no, I mean, like, yeah, it's just situation like you don't want like, the kid to get like sick. Yeah, if a kid gets sick, and then the parents are pissed too. Yeah, yeah well, and they're be like, why, why would you not like make my? Why'd you let him go outside yeah, if you just have a shirt on? This kid, like this kid's an idiot. Why'd you take this word? Yeah. I See, I wish I would have opened up about this years ago because I'm still I, – I hold this anger deep down inside of me. <laughs> you want to hear a, a dramatic Sunday school story? It's mm -hmm. nothing sensual or anything crazy like that. But one time – Did you just say that because he's wearing a mustache? Is that the only reason? Of course it's the only reason. <laughs> I was in like third grade, and it was snowing outside. I had to go to Sunday school, and I told the people – I was like, it was me and two other students there, and I was like, yeah, I'd rather be at home sledding. And I got yelled at until I cried. He, like a, a Sunday school teacher yelled at me and oh, said, really? Are we still going? God could yeah. fry your brain yeah, like an boring. egg right now, and you'd rather be at home uh, sledding. Yeah. Dude, that's put the fear of, <laughs> the literal fear of God into me. He was, was like, You shouldn't want to sled. Grade? You should want to be here at Sunday school. Yeah. Next, next time You're you a hang third out with grader? Joe. Yeah, I was like a little kid, and he like yelled at me about not wanting to be in Sunday school until. Who are the other two kids in the Sunday school? I don't remember, but I can remember the people doing it. It was Pat Sims, who's a real estate agent now, and <laughs> uh, Doug. What's his last name? McDougerson. No, uh, <laughs> I don't remember. But looking back, it's fucked up, you know, yeah. yelling at kids. God. I think I think like what turns people away is the approach of how religion religion is kind of shoved down our throats. At least very aggressive. At least why I never bought into it is that like even like even when I was going there, I'm like I don't believe any of this shit. Like I don't know what I believe. I didn't yeah. really thought into it, but I didn't believe what they were shoving down my throat. But it yeah. was the dogma. It was the dogma. And it was the mentality of What's just dogma? like dogma is like almost like absolute truth of an interpretation, like in a very a very interpretive book. And they're like, this is how it is. Yeah. This is how it is. This is what you should believe. No, I see that. I, I feel like, in my experience, they made just, like, casual, everyday sin seem like, like the worst thing possible and, like, something you should never do. Even though, like, like I get it, you're not supposed to sin, but everybody fucking sins. Yeah. Like, ac at least sin according to, like, the Bible. Yeah. I just feel like they made that, like, even just the most casual sin. They just make it seem like the worst possible thing. Absolutely. Absolutely. Having gone to, like... You're just like, dude, like, I'm fucking 12. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like... Like the, the <laughs> guilt sorry, and the shame about shit. Yeah. It just like random would, everyday shit really like took a toll on me when I was a kid. Yeah. Same. Which is wild because I think what what wisdom is in a way and where I like feel like I've gotten some of my best life experiences is doing something, fucking up, and then realizing I should reconsider my approach to life. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like that's, that's seriously that's where like wisdom kind of comes from. All right. So, Yes conclusive agreement the modern church has fucked us all over but i think we need to wrap this pot up i just got the 
Okay, cool. Oh, you didn't? Doug right. Dotson, yeah. that was his name. Pat Sims and Doug Dotson, if you're watching this, fuck you guys. <laughs> 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 fuck you. If fuck I see Pat you guys in Dotson. the streets ever, I'm going to fucking yell at you guys. Put the fear <laughs> guide into you. I'm saying to the camera. In, in conclusion, <laughs> Brett is the perfect roommate and leave for 2030. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely, Kenny. <laughs> I think that's a me, message. Please. My ears hurt so bad. That's from a those message we can all get uh, behind. Wait, like the pressure of the the headphones or the? I don't know, dude. Just, just like the headphones. audio? Yeah. I have very sensitive ears. Are we cutting? We just went almost two hours. Unless we unless we end up trimming it. We're gonna have to.